Hey guys, Fear back at it again with another Twitch VOD from the 17th of February 2022. I I don't even know how many days I am into like the 18 consecutive days of stream in February at this point. I'm just tired. Um, but heartbreaker runs and chats. Lots. I've got food in my teeth. Lots and lots and lots and lots of chats. So I hope you enjoy. If you'd like to catch us live, I am at twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma. If you then add forward slash schedule, you'll be able to see when I go live in your local time zone, which is very, very handy. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook. You can scroll down and check the description box for easy, clickable links to all of those. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully we'll see you in chat next time. Hi. Let's get cracking. Shall we? Hope you're all having a lovely day. Well done, Zemon first, Yori with last, K with second, V somewhere in the middle, uh, Landar with third, Jackie with a couple attempts, but welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Hello, Chaos. Hello, Kaz, with the Thurf as well. Wonderful. Uh, it's Fialadin, as in like Paladin, but Fia. Led. Yep. Uh, early again, Lucky. Welcome on in. 500 attempts, still no heartbreaker. It's okay, Zam. Soon. TM. Hi. Hey, Kate. Hey, Thor. Hey, Phoenix. What are we doing tonight? Happy Thursday. Doing good. And you? I am... I am well. I am, I am very well. I don't like the fact that this is a two-minute queue timer, but I'm that's fine. I'm not a paladin. Uh... I am not a paladin. Uh... <laughs> oh my god, pretty clothing. Isn't it gorgeous? My lord. It, like as like with the and like with the hair and oh! Oh um by the way. I did say I would no promises, but um I did the thing. <laughs> Um, okay, bye. Wait, you shall all get it at some point? At some point we shall, indeed. We just gotta keep trying. Just gotta keep trying, nutty. Have fun with the shopping, Crom. We'll see you soon. Oh, I can tank, really? No tank? Oh, it means we're actually back in the queue. Heartbreaker Funds, let's go! Indeed, they look amazing. Thank you. Wolf farming, Heartbreaker Farming, Avowed Rep Farming, While I Farm Lucky Charms. Nice. Wonderful. Green really makes your hair pop. It is like the, a fantastic shade of green. It is just awesome. It's the same as the shirt I was wearing yesterday, except it's like emerald green instead of white, and I am just so fucking happy. I am considering, because when I, like, so this is from Throne. This is from the wish list. Uh, thank you, Rump. Big, huge, amazing thanks to Rump for making me look this good. It's all on him. Uh, make sure we clip that so I can show him. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I'm honest to God, just the way that the white one fit me and the way that this one just looks, good Lord, I am considering going through and adding every other fucking color that they make to the wish list because I feel like I need the whole set. Cause, and like, it just, not even with the hair, it just, the whole cut and everything just suits me. It's a little bit cropped. Like, it's not a very long shirt. It kind of comes to there, like, just to the, the high-waisted kind of... But I just, I feel so good. I feel so good in these shirts. They're amazing. So, yeah, I feel like I should add the rest of the colors <laughs> to my wardrobe. <laughs> Truly an amazing shade of green. Absolutely. Absolutely. But, yeah, um, the, 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 the... Did I? No, I didn't. Shit. I always forget to turn all of these back on. That is the dungeon thing. But, um, there are... I'm, I figured it out. I made it work. What do we reckon? I like him. I like him. They seem to work so well. Look, they don't always. They don't always. Um, but... Usually, I experiment on my days off. 
Usually I don't try new combinations on stream days because I know that shit's on the internet forever. So, <laughs> so I have like, there's a, there are absolutely times where I put an outfit on and I'm like, yeah, this is great. And then halfway through the day, I'm like, this was not a good choice. But I usually do that on days off because that way I know that it's not going to be like immortalized on the interwebs. Strategy. Um, I'm gonna line my eyes white when didn't have the showing up. The skin standard old school white tee. It, yeah, it's the exact same as this one. The thing is, because it is white, white, not like a cream or a light gray or an off, like a, a pale pink or something, because it is a white, white, the soft boxes just, yeah, they're amazing. They're super bright and they just illuminate everything, but unfortunately that tends to wipe out small details in things that are super, super dark or super, super bright. Um, it does best with the details when it's like, you know, like a color or like, you know, the, the details in my hair because it's all different shades of stuff. Whereas it's, if it's all white or all black, it kind of, the camera and the combination of the camera and the, um, the soft boxes, they just, it just blanks everything out. So you're you're absolutely right, but yeah, it's the same kind of same kind of shirt. It fits just the same way, and I love it so much, so much. Such pretty full nails. Thank you, thank you so much. You're aesthetically on point today. I'm like, if you influenced me to buy the migration thing on Humble, oh fantastic! I hope it works for you, Nano. I hope you get everything you need from it. That's awesome. Oh, you guys are after her nails. I'm trying to work out her spacesuit style top. It's this is called a mock neck neckline it's a mock neck um also no it's kind of it, the 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 um it's kind of like a mock turtleneck as well is something else because the turtleneck is one that comes up and it folds over and stuff like that and this kind of has a similar sort of look to it except it's just it's just one piece it's not like folded over or anything um give me a second and i might be able to pull up the link for you because i fucking love this thing and everyone deserves to feel good in their own skin. And I am, I'm, I'm feeling myself today. Oh boy, I'm feeling myself today. But Nano, shit, Nano, I don't think I've shown you. I haven't put everything in it yet. But the top arriving means that, well, shit, where's OBS? There it is. Look, 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 look. Hey, I've got things for earrings. And there's like, there's, there's a tray for like, rings and, and earrings and stuff. There's like um, squishy foam rollers in there. Can you see the details? There we go. So that you can like slot rings between the squishies and stuff. So they all stay like neat and stuff. And then the bottom one is like an open drawer that has nothing in it. And God, it smells like fresh acrylic still. And it's so good. But yeah, and they get like the, yeah! I haven't put all the stuff in it yet, but I have started. I have started putting stuff in it. Oh, what did I do? Oh no. Oh no. There we go. I've got my, my bubble tea earrings and I got my pearls and I got my teeny tiny bees that I got from mum and then my like regular studs that I like don't wear very often but used to wear a lot. Um, yes, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm gonna put it over here before I drop it and break it because I know that's the thing that I would do. Also I put new batteries in the lights can you tell? <laughs> oh. oh, look, perfect timing. Right, okay, link for shirt. Link for shirt, link for shirt, link for shirt. Where is the link for the shirt? Yeah. Tiny times, short sleeve, ribbed, knit, top, yes style. Link, link. Na, 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 na what the music sounds like uh the the link i'm going to give you is an an affiliate link because i have them i i'm part of the uh influencer program with your style um so here is that is the that is a link for the shirt i'm wearing the the front page is this shirt but it comes in a bunch of colors <clears throat> what do they got Wine red, green, black, gray, and white. 
Um, so I think wine red would be fucking amazing. I'm thinking it's like a deep maroon kind of shade and then black and gray. Uh, depending on what shade of gray, actually, that could be nice or it could be shit. Grays are a bit tricky. There are some grays that are really gorgeous and then some grays that are just not at all. Um... I am not as slim as the model is, so my my arms and stuff are like the 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 thing is stretched more than it is uh, on her uh, because I am chunkier. Oh, that's a nice gray. I like that gray. Okay, I like that gray. That's a nice one. But yeah, that wine red is oof. It's beautiful, and I mean black is just handy. Like, come on. The only reason I didn't list it in black is because I have a lot of black shirts. So I was like, no, I shouldn't because I have too many already, but now I'm like, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. Um, but there you go, Ginny. Sorry it took me so long, I got distracted. Surprise, surprise. Today I did my Heartbreaker runs and then kept leveling my Priest, got her to 50 last night, well done, and already 58, holy shit. Look at you go, Yori. Look at you go. Oh, I hope you get some money from it. I, I, sh I can check. I can check if you would like. Um, I should do. Unless unless you drag the thing down to zero, it defaults to some. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, where is my partner dashboard? So many fucking websites that I have bookmarked. Um, sales dashboard. If I enter start date of yesterday, what's today? So if I put that to the, ah, uh, hang on, it might. Oh, because it's US time, I think. So it doesn't, let me go back an extra day just in case in case. Display. Oh. Uh. Okay day. Um. Oh, I have to set a 31 day window. Okay. I get it. That's not helpful. Uh. Well, okay, so there's definitely some stuff. I'm just having trouble figuring out. Do I, can I get like a, there we go, sales reports. That's what I want. I don't want a big bar chart because that doesn't tell, well, I mean it does, but it doesn't tell me anything. Um, not January, I want, oh, okay. So it's only, okay. It's only gonna break it down for me up to January, I think. Can I, oh no, I'm ranged. I don't have to get up there. Well, yes, uh, apparently there have been two purchases of the Windows 11 migration bundle using my link. And I have endured, indeed earned a couple bucks from each of those, which is really awesome. So thank you so much. There you go, confirmation. You have helped me pay for part of my surgery. Thank you. How awesome is that? I'm so thankful for having you guys, like good Lord. I don't know how I managed to get to this place, but you guys rock, like in so many ways. And I feel like I don't say that often enough. <laughs> and now I'm getting teary. Okay, this is silly. Um, anyway, I always impress me to take that as you will. Um, hey, Asak, how you doing? Welcome in. Ah, uh, pretty, it's amazing. Isn't it awesome? Oh my God, much recommend. I've been having, like, even just the couple of pieces that I've put in there so far, I'm like, woo, yay. Um, but I have, like, my, my jewelry is spread over so many different little areas. Like, I have a box of earrings just here, like a little box. And then I have, there's another box in Jas's room, because it's where I used to keep all of my stuff. <laughs> Look, just don't even. Um, so there's a little box in there. Uh, or maybe it's two, two little boxes. And then in that wall, cause he's got a bigger wardrobe than I do in the master bedroom, just because of the way that the walls are aligned. His wall that has the wardrobe is longer than mine is. So he has a bigger wardrobe. 
Um, and so he's got, there's a, I've got a, it's like a, a hanger, like a coat hanger. And it's got like a b little black dress on it, except it's not a little black dress. It's just one sheet of fabric that has all these little clear pockets sewn into it so that you can like tuck jewelry and stuff in there. Yep. So there's a whole thing of that that's full of stuff as well. And then there's another box in the storage cage that has even more fucking jewelry in it. So there are pieces I own that I have never worn. Not once. Usually stuff that has been like gifted to me, like, you know, birthdays and stuff like that, but like by a family member you haven't seen in seven years. And they're like, yeah, I saw this and it made me think of you. And I'm like, oh, good. Thank you. It's a beautiful color, but it's also beads that are one inch across and it's a bracelet. Anyway, <laughs> I like, I like petite stuff. Um, I'm very much a like delicate petite jewelry kind of person. I don't really do chunky stuff. Really. Yep. Um, so, but there have been so many times that I've been gifted like big chunky beaded bracelets and stuff like that because that's what my mum loves. And so these, these family friends and stuff, they know my mum and they know what she loves and they know that I look so much like her and that we share so many interests. We, I mean, we do. We have a great relationship, which is awesome. But we have very different tastes when it comes to style and things like that. So I so much appreciate the gifts I've been given. They're just not my style. Um, so because they've never been worn and because they've been kept in little boxes and stuff, they'll be in fantastic condition. Um, so I can either like gift them to people in my life who I know will love them so much more than I will ever be able to uh, or donate them and they can find a wonderful, amazing life um, with a new human who will appreciate them and give them the love and wear that they deserve. So <laughs> I will get there. I will get, I want to get my, my collection of bits and bobs shrunk enough that it fits in there. And if I get a new piece that I fucking love and it doesn't fit, then I can get rid of something to make room. I feel like that would be just amazing. I, you know what would be more amazing? Getting the heartbreaker. But I dinged another 51. Another 51 tune. God, I'm going to have to go through that spreadsheet and update it after this event. Because that's going to be a time. I've had so many little dings here and there. Anyway, um, Tadjellas, you can wear those Hynex. Absolutely cannot, but they look so good. They look... I have to agree with you. They do look really, really good. But it might, it, I think it's just like my particular body type and proportions. I have super broad shoulders, super broad shoulders. Vast majority of like petite style clothing that I, cause I'm 5'3", I'm short as fuck. So a lot of the time, even though I'm not like super skinny, I mean, I used to be a bit smaller than I am now. Uh, I'm not anymore. That's fine. It is what it is. But because of my height, for things to fit me lengthwise, I usually have to go into the petite section. Otherwise things are just too long uh, and I don't have the money to take up literally everything that I purchase. Uh, um, so like that's, I end up usually going for the petites, but like the lar the, the, the larger sized petites to get the, sh the length right. Yep. Um, but a lot of the time I can't even do that because my shoulders are so broad for somebody my size. Uh, I can't do spaghetti straps. I cannot do spaghetti straps. I look like one of those, like, you know, the American footballers who wear ridiculous amounts of armor to, to throw a ball at each other um, or to at the goals, not at each other, at the goals. Um, but they have those big, like the whole, the ridiculous kind of plastic things that sit on top of their actual jerseys. I feel like I look like that when I wear spaghetti straps, but I think the, the wide shoulders gives balance and it doesn't make me look like a lollipop. Because I, I've like sometimes you see people who have like, if they're really slim and then they cut themselves off, they kind of look sort of like a bit. I don't know. It's just, but I mean, no, no shade whatsoever. It's just visuals and how our eyes perceive different shapes and things like that is just so fucking weird. But I think it just this works with my body shape, and I fucking love that. <laughs> I'm really happy that I've finally, at 30 goddamn two, I'm 32, I turned 32 nearly a week ago now, and I've at the, finally, after three fucking decades, I've finally found a style that suits me. Bloody oath. It's, um, it's a good feeling, not gonna lie. 
Um, but I, I totally understand Sark. I'm sure, like I am 100 and bajillion percent certain. That's a number, look it up. Don't, it, it's probably not. Um, I am so certain that there will be a, a style or a trend or a shape of clothing or something like that, that you can pull off like amazingly that I will be like green with jealousy or green with envy or whatever the word is. Um, because like, Different body types, man. They just we 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 all carry different things well, and it. Oh, there are some things that I look at. I'm like, damn, that's amazing. I remember um, when I was uh, last time, like when I was in a full time job, uh, I had a colleague, and I rocked up to a. We went out for like we went out for like girls' drinks and a show or something like that, and I was wearing like knee high leather boots, um, and she was like, I love your boots. I'm, I'm so sick that I could never wear them. I'm like, why couldn't, why can't you wear them? And she's like, if she does MMA and her calves were rocks, like they were rock fucking solid. She was strong and she was lean and she was built and oh, fucking gorgeous. But she was jealous of my body because she thought her calves were too big to wear these boots. I was just like, oh, bitch, are you, fuck me. Like, oh, oh my God, I would do horrible, horrible things for your body, like, <laughs> without having to put the work in. Um, but, like, good Lord, yeah, no, everyone, everyone has those couple of things that they wish they could pull off, but there are things that they can do that others are just sick with envy, and it, oh, oh isn't it wonderful? Fuck our brains, right? Like, good Lord. Um... How come you can't boobs? They look too big. Looks like I have a shelf. Yeah, I look. Yeah, I told like I knew I knew it would be something I would be envious of. Good Lord. No, um, but yeah, I get that. I get that there like you there's, there's ways you got to like, ah, oh, what is however enormous breasts? What's her name? Christina? Is it Christina Hendricks, the actress? She's she's ginger. She was in Mad Men. She's in Good Good Girls. I fuck. She's incredible. She is awesome. In I think it's Good Girls. It's on Netflix. Um, a show a bunch of housewives, crime ring, fun. Um, but she she's very well endowed. Uh, and she does. There are like Good Lord, the costumer on that particular show. Holy hell, Wardrobe did an amazing job because there were so many times where she'd wear something plunging, but it wasn't like, hey, look, titties. Um, but she also did the mock neck a few times and they made it work. I don't know if it's whether it's like the bra that like, you know, the, the right bra just does. Oh, it does magical, wonderful, how the fuck did you do that things? Like bras are just incredible. Can be incredible, not always. Um, but maybe I wonder if there's a couple of styling things in there because she pulls it off. She pulls it off. I don't know if it's like the rest of her body type, but she she is very, very well endowed. And they they got, poor. she always looked incredible, except when she wasn't supposed to, but even then she was like messy hot. So it's like, like screw you, you know? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Why don't I look like that? But um, yeah, no, I don't look like that because I don't have like tens of thousands, potentially hundreds of thousands worth of makeup and wardrobe budget for a television show. That's why. But we can attempt. <laughs> we can attempt. All right, I need to stop ranting because I'm like 15 minutes behind on chat. Uh, like that wine red is gorgeous, isn't it just? Isn't it just? Not from the people who are in the itty bitty committee. Ah, uh, lucky finding favorable trades in Tableau 2 today. Ah, oh, got some best insult items, fantastic. In low drop rate train farming the cow level. Fun, fun. Good luck. Good luck. I should have some meal boobs. I don't know what I'd give though. <laughs> uh, are you using Windows 11 right now? I am not. I am not personally, no. Uh, I don't think. I, I remember opening up one of the windows on my PC. I was doing something. I can't remember what I was doing. And I remember seeing this warning that I wasn't compatible for Windows 11. I was like, oh. Oh well. Um, but yeah, I'm sure it's probably something out of date or whatever. Don't care. I'll figure it out later. 
But no, I'm not. Are you? Chicken, how are you going? Have you up have you uh, migrated or are you planning on doing so? Uh I'd happily donate some if I catch a fear. Oh you using land sheet. I find any Aw Thank you, Landa. Thank you so much. Your donations hype. We'll just we'll just get a group of us together and it can be like we can be communist boobs. Is that communists is when they like distribute the wealth, right? They accumulate it all in a bucket and then like give everyone the equal amount. Is that a thing? Can we <laughs> can we do that with boobs? Or is that not okay? <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god. Uh, small ask, if it isn't hard to do, mind turning off the streamers. Oh yes, of course. Absolutely I can. Um, blocks the heart shape box. Oh, yeah, you, it doesn't matter if it blocks the loot, though. I, I explained this yesterday. Um, it's gonna pop up in the middle of the screen. You're not gonna miss it. You're not gonna miss it. Um, but I can turn it off just because, uh, the, uh, we're not waiting for the next battle. There is no next battle. Not today. Oh, ding! 51! Awesome. But yeah, you are, you're not gonna miss the loot. You just, you just not. Um, it'll, it pops up in the middle of the screen because of rarity, so you'll be fine. Uh, cool. Um, yay, 51s, indeed. Ridiculous amounts of armor. Uh, they look tall necked. I'm uh, 5'2, narrow shoulders, way too much junk in my trunk. I'm a pair with boobs. You're a pair with boobs. Isn't that, isn't that, um, hourglass though? Last I remember reading. Hourglass was um, at least eight centimeters difference between natural waist and either hips or boobs. And then having hips or boobs like within two centimeters or so of each other. It doesn't like hourglass shape, thankfully, it doesn't take into, you, into account your th thighs. When I was a little bit lighter, um, I was like textbook hourglass um, and then well, <laughs> the pandemic happened and I put on COVID weight with everybody else. Uh, but yeah, no, it's, um, yeah, but yeah, short, short people, we win. Yes. Good thing. Small packages, something, something. Vigilianth. Sure. Yes. Yes. We'll have things about one another. Wish we had exactly. I got automated. What did I do? Did you? I can't see it. It might have disappeared when someone approved it. I'll have to see. Um, Fierce Boss of Street. Likely nothing. Yeah, um, we have... Uh, sound, uh, sounds like a girl. Oh, sounds like a girl crush. Yeah. Um, that would have been... Something. I don't know. Hendrix, yes. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's amazing. I mean, it may well just be, like, really good writing that suited her very, very well, but good lord, she- oh, I loved that show. When it ended, I was like, wait, what? Where's the next one? Where, where's the next season? And then it's like, oh, it's not happening. I'm like, are you- what? No! There are, like, so many unfinished endings there, what the fuck? But no, it's- it's fine. Whatever. I read 27 different articles and they all kind of, you know, summarize the end. I'm like, yeah, okay, I guess it's an okay ending, but fuck, man, leaving me wanting. Um, yeah, no, we have uh, Autobot, uh, Automod, Automod, not Autobot. <laughs> um, Automod here is uh, relatively strict. It catches a lot of stuff just because I've had a lot of stuff that usually is used in context, like, you know, sounds like a girl crush, that's totally fine. You know, it's part of the conversation, context there, bots can't determine context. Um, but I've had a lot of, a lot of things that needed to be filtered out of chat so no one had to see them. A lot of things. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it's easier and it's, it's better for us to have to let a lot of things through than to have things appear in chat that we don't want there because there have been some <laughs> Oh boy yeah look people are fun times anyway uh yeah no no need to worry about it at all um even if something's caught and i'm like yeah i'm not gonna let that through it's usually just a hey this is why i'm not letting it through just a heads up but no hard feelings you know what i mean um if there were hard feelings you would be timed out and or banned <laughs> 
Anyway, uh, we'll can keep people to fuck our brains, right? Look, meaty. Sari, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you for the resub. Much appreciated. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for your support. Um, but yeah, no, it's um, our brains being assholes and being like, what, you know, this and that and I'm jealous of this and blah, blah, blah. It's just brains being fuckwits. Always. Excuse me. No one. Yeah, Christina Hendricks. Yeah, she's awesome. Um, oh, we have an emote only. Okay, we'll do that. There's your timer. There you go. Enjoy. Show me all of your pretty pictures, your favorite emotes, or emotes from your favorite streamers. Because sometimes your favorite streamers do not have your favorite emotes, and sometimes your favorite emotes do not come from your favorite streamers, because that's just how that works. Um, and also, yes, they, they do this. So, like, that's funny. Uh, communist boobs, the more you share, oh my fucking god. Is, did I, is that, is that too far, Lucky? <laughs> did I, did I go too far with communist boobs? Uh, the more your chest would plentiful, yes. Yep. Yep. Communist boobs sounds like a grunge band. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, as a masculine envy, you can very much have my boobs. <laughs> yeah. Is that, is that like, can you just like donate them to the bucket and then like leave the sharing circle? Is that an option? I I'm pretty sure we can make that an option if that's what people want, 100%. And people who like don't have anything to contribute but can still like join the sharing circle regardless. I feel like that's an appropriate thing to do. Oh, I can't wear like other shapes. My shoulders are so narrow. Right, okay. That's interesting. Oh, bugger. I imagine getting, like, if, if you're quite well endowed and then have narrow shoulders as well, I imagine getting a bra that fits well is a, is a tricky because, like, to provide the support for the weight, I, I'm not trying to, it, like, I'm, this is, like, cartoonish breasts, obviously, but, like, trying to get the support for, the, like, I've got, um, I'm not, I'm not particularly well endowed, like, I have boobs, I'm cis female, I grew them myself, it's great, um, but they're not, like, they, I don't think they're, I, they're not, like, teeny tiny but they're also not massively huge there's not like a they're av i guess they're average i don't even what is average i don't fucking know anyway they're fine however because my because my shoulders are so broad straps hit me funny because when your shoulders are broad your rib is your ribs are also usually quite broad and so they don't like i want them to sit i want bra straps to sit in the squishy bit but often they end up sitting like out here, like on the bone. And I'm like, N -n no, like get back on where the squishy bit is. It's just, it's, I don't like it. I don't like it. However, however, um, I do have a few bras that are starting to fall apart as is most of my wardrobe. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm not buying any more until I jump on the subreddit called a bra that fits. It is r slash a bra that fits. They have a calculator on there for um, basically, basically their, their theory is that anyone who wants a bra deserves one that fits well and that flatters their shape and all that kind of stuff, right? Good. Um, and so they have, instead of just taking like a measurement under your boobs and then at like the nipple line or whatever, they, they have this whole series of measurements you take from like different angles, like from leaning over and lying down all this kind of stuff. And they help you calculate like where the weight of you, like if it's weighted high or if they're weighted low or if they're like all this kind of stuff and then once you figure out all these little like categories that you fit into and you figure out your per not just like you know 12b but like an actual like all of these different things they can help you find bras that will actually fit not just like your straps here and the straps over here and the cup size but will fit your shape of breasts and we'll have the what I have learned is called the gore which is the little strappy bit that holds the cups together at the bottom to have that sit flush against your body which is meant to happen I have never had that happen in my life but there you go that's apparently a thing that you are supposed to it's supposed to just be up against your flesh <laughs> fucking sure okay so I've never had a bra that fits apparently um so yeah I'm gonna do all the measurementy things and I'm gonna find and I don't give a fuck if they're that, like if they're actually quite expensive because I would much rather have like three bras that fit really perfectly fucking well than 20 that don't, you know? It's, yeah, so 
I'm I'm kind of looking forward to when I can have a bit of money aside to do that. But that'll yeah. Fun facts with fear. Uh my glass is different. I know several people with that shape. Um straight up and down, shoulders, waist, then boobs on the front. Ah, okay. So FML ad break. Oh no. You're back. Okay, good. Um, yeah, we have a 90 second ad break every 30 minutes to keep the pre-rolls off for, for new people who come in and stuff like that. So, um, obviously if you've got like a, a Twitch Prime or if you're subbed or anything like that, it will be, uh, turned off, but that's, that's why it's there. It's not because money, it's because, um, it's because turning off the pre-rolls actually increases viewership. It increases viewer retention, which is really interesting. Anyway, um, but I was like, last is so long, wonder why wrap tops look awful on me. Oh. oh. Yeah, it's the, it's the, like, the waist measurement. The, if they're, they're, it, it might be, it might be different depending on, like, what the other, but what I always read was, like, eight centimeter difference. So, like, chest and hips within a couple centimeters of each other, and then eight cent like, negative eight centimeters to the waist. And I was that before I gained weight. So that's fun. But, you know, no body shape is right. They're all fun. They all look amazing. And they've all, they all carry different styles so bloody well. And just, oh, anyway. Uh, you're still working. Oh, no, we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. Have fun. I hope the work, I hope work treats you kindly. I'm scrolling through all these emotes. Holy cow. You look amazing. Uh, it helps you catch up on chat. I am four minutes behind. I'm a lot better now. Uh, I'm getting there. Uh, I feel like I would mess up my Google search looking up what's average. Yeah, probably. Probably. Uh, no, no, you didn't go too far. I was just drinking when you said it. Choked on my drink. The soda burned my nose. I am both sorry and not sorry. Lucky. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, has a mask envy with an E cup. Take all the cups. Oh, so then my brows cost like 60, 70 euro on average per piece. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I am, I think, a fairly average size in Australia. So, like, most places have my size just on the rack and plentiful because that's, like, you know, one of the best selling sizes or whatever because it's just fairly common. Um, but I am feeling like it's not actually the right size. Uh, because of the way that this this particular subreddit was describing how a bra should fit. I'm like, none of my bra, one, one of my bras fits the way that they say it should. One. Singular. So that's, um, yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, big boo live, I've heard that from a few women. Happy to donate some boob cups to communist boobs, fantastic. Amazing. So generous of you. A uh, store I use called Bravissimo. Hard to use now. I moved. I still do. They're amazing. Fitters do what you were talking about. Ah, they do shape fitting, not measurement. That's so good. So good. I'm a G cup UK size. I cry if I found a cheap bra in my size that fit well. Oh, God. Wouldn't it be lovely? Honestly, though, given, like, if, if you are someone who enjoys wearing a bra, I do. Like, no shade to people who don't. You do you, boo. Like, absolutely. Everyone should be able to feel comfortable in their own skin. I'm 100% for that. And comfortable in the clothing that they wear as well. Absolutely. Um, so, like, I choose to wear a bra. I, I prefer to be broad. Um, but, like, having one that's comfortable is just... Yep. <laughs> yep. It is just so incredibly important. Like you have, like, it is incredible how, like, and you don't understand, like when I, cause I've got one that fits me really well, right? And so if I haven't worn that one for a while, for whatever reason, it does have polka dots on it. And they're like black polka dots on like a skin tone bra. So like anything that's even vaguely see-through, I, I can't really wear it. Cause I, no, again, no shade to people who like showing off their undergarments. I mean, you spend shitloads of money on them. Why the fuck not? Um, but I prefer to have a more seamless image. So like, uh, yeah, if I'm wearing something that's a little bit pale and you can see the polka dots, you know, sometimes I don't wear it for a while uh, and I'll wear other bras and stuff and then I'll put that one on and I'm like, oh my God, why the hell do I all have all the other ones? They suck. Like, 
Fun times. Fun times. Uh, I'm gonna have to try that out myself. Finding a bra that fits is like finding a needle in a haystack. Totally down for paying up for a bra if it fits. Yeah, so this it's a subreddit. It's called a bra that fits, all one word, obviously. Um, but yeah, they're you don't even have to post to be able to use the calculator. Um, it's over in like the uh, like the about us kind of thing. Um, and I think you need to stick in six measurements from memory. And then there's a guide, like they have like a whole how to determine your own stuff kind of thing. And there's a whole lot of like looking at yourself in a mirror from odd angles um, and you know, to determine different bits and pieces about how you sit. Um, but hey, it's all worth it, right? All worth it. Um, it's hard to find some nice, pretty, sexy bras that also fit well and aren't over 100 euro. Oh, absolutely. I can only imagine. Can only imagine. Um, they do have a lot of really good recommendations as well. Um, they also have recommendations by, uh, like, country as well. So if it's, like, you know, the UK or the US or um, other places, they, they have recommendations for styles that fit different shapes. Because obviously, you know, one manufacturer isn't just going to cater to one particular shape. They're going to have a whole bunch of different things. Uh, and some of them are really fucking pretty. Some of them are really, really pretty. Um, obviously, they may not be cheap. They may not be uh, under 100 euro. But if they fit really well, is it worth having one fucking fancy one that's really expensive that fits rather than like four or five that are cheaper, that are really sexy, that don't fit? Um, that's just my opinion though, obviously. Everyone is entitled to make up their own minds. I'm not trying to, like, tell you this is how you should live. I'm, I'm an A-cup. I'm good, just recovering. I'm glad. Recovering is good. I set my camera above chest height. It keeps away some folks. Yep, experience, unfortunately. Yep. I mean, I am nowhere close to a double H or a J. And I know the feeling. Like, you know, different folks. Eh? <laughs> um, I love wearing a bra, nothing beats taking it off after a long day. It's the best feeling in the world. Did you through that? Definitely like wearing a bra, part of my life. Part of my life is a feeling when you get, you get to take it off as soon as you get back to the house. It's really hot to take the bra, the cold hits me. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Another feeling. Love wearing sports bras. They're so comfy. They are. Some aren't, though. There are some, like, good lord. I don't know. Maybe it's just the wrong size for me or something. But it's, like, squish. And this is these are not fat bags. They're not just bags full of flesh. and They're, they're glands. They are large glands that have their own packaging. And uh, when you squish them, they hurt. Like a lot. Like a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I think I've got a couple that might be too small for me nowadays. 10 down, 40 to go. I love that we can have these kind of conversations. It just makes me so happy. And I hope those out there who don't give a flying, or, or don't give a flying fuck, or to whom these conversations do not apply, I hope that it's at least somewhat entertaining or maybe you're learning something or d I don't know. Just something. I hope it's not boring. <laughs> <laughs> Just wearing sports bras. One's at one piece, not with clips. Can't do clips. I uh, can't do them and undo them. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, there's not a lot of um, sports bras that have uh, like front clasps either. Because I know, like, back clasps are exceptionally difficult for a lot of people. Like, a lot, a lot of people. Uh, and, you know, people talk about, oh, you know, front clasping bras, they're all about sexy times because you can whip them off real quick in the moment. And all this. No. Fucking accessibility, bitches. Like, seriously. Good lord. Um, so much easier some to, for, for a lot of people. For, I mean... I imagine for most people it'd be easier to do a clasp up that you can bloody well see uh, rather than having to do it by feel and hope you get the right hooks or the right loops. But yeah. Um, how do you level 1 to 50? Sorry, off topic. No, totally fine. Totally fine measure. Not a problem at all. Um, I level with quests. 
I, I questing, uh, I questing, good English fear. Uh, I level via questing. I usually go through Warlords of Draenor. Uh, so I go Exile's Reach from one to 10. Uh, or if you're an allied race or whatever, you skip that and you're straight at 10. Uh, and then I go from 10 to 50 in Warlords of Draenor just because it's fastest and it because I can set up my garrison while I go because uh, I use the garrison for gold making. I make card of omens and flip them for profit. Uh, and not on the not on the auction house. I mean, actually, physically flipping each card and then vendoring them for a profit, uh, which is like lazy gold making for the win. Oh. Why did it have to be the tank? Damn it! Uh, but that's how I level. Um, there is a lot of different ways that other people have leveled. Um, some people do dungeons, some people can level through PvP, some people who level uh, through archaeology or pet battles if they want something a little more challenging. Obviously there's all the other expansions that you can level through as well, especially if you're someone who likes achievements and you have a few holes in your lore master achievement. You can level a character, so say you're missing Duskwood, you can level an alliance tune through Duskwood to tick that one off your lore master achievement. Uh, that kind of thing. So yeah, there's there are so many options for leveling a character. Um, I just prefer questing personally because it's solo. I don't have to rely on anyone else and I don't have anyone else relying on me. Uh, and I can just kind of go on autopilot, really. I hope you're having a wonderful day, though. Uh, good learn about the living conditions of being a lady slash femme. It can be. Look, learning about experiences that are not your own. Uh, I feel like is usually a good idea. It opens up your uh, your worldview and all that kind of stuff, right? That can't be a bad thing. I questing. I questing. Yes. Yep. Uh, maybe I could drop that pretty quick. I was reassured by other folks. Oh no, no, definitely not. No, it's um, you know, bras are not easy to use. Uh, the vibe of the stream at the moment, nice to hear. I'm not the only one thinking this stuff, even though after nearly 32 years. I know all of us do think this. Like, you know, but you don't know. There is a difference. Like, your brain tells you that, but your heart is like, yeah, but really? Like, people say that this is a thing, but is it actually? I know that feeling very well. Uh, if we can't get a daily garment right at a reasonable price for millions of people around the world, I mean, being too high for a heat comfortable binder. Oh, meaty. Oh god. I imagine that's actually like, there's, I know that there are different sizes of binders. I don't know lots about binders. I've never really looked into it myself as someone who uh, hasn't used one and I, I don't feel like uh, it's something that I, I want to use for my, myself personally, which, you know, obviously no judgment, but you know, that's just my situation personally. Um, I do know that they come in sizes and that you need to really, like, there you've got to make sure you're measuring stuff properly and that there is, uh, I've, I've read a few, uh, sort of uncomfortable stories about people who have wanted more of an effect and so have sized down and have caused themselves, like, actual medical problems. Like, making sure you are compressing your body in a healthy way is super, super important. Um, so make sure that you're, you know, measuring properly and all that kind of shit. If you are looking at purchasing a binder, fucking do it, like, seriously. Um, and don't, don't go, like, smaller than they tell you you should because you can hurt yourself. And I don't want you to hurt yourself. I'm sure you don't want to either. Like, it's, yeah. Um, and then, uh, but, like, achieving that kind of level of compression with no, like, while still allowing the fabric to be breathable. Like, fuck, for months and months and months, I had to wear a knee brace. This is the closest I'm ever going to get to the experience of a binder. But, I mean, okay, never say never, but, you know, as I stand currently. So this, at the moment, this is the closest experience. Knee, knee, knee brace, right, when I was having issues with my knee being swollen. So to keep the swelling down, I wore a knee brace, and mother of god, that thing was uncomfortable. It was tight, it limited my movement, and it was fucking hot. If I took that thing off after a day, like a whole day of wearing it, like at work and stuff, it was disgusting. It was, it, it was sweaty. I was sweaty. It was just gross. So I, I imagine it's a somewhat semi-comparable experience in terms of like the resulting uncom discomfort after, if that, 
I'm trying really hard to be respectful and I don't know if I'm fucking that up or not. Uh, please know that I have absolutely no intention. Like I am, we are very, very welcoming here. Your experiences are valid. I, I'm, tr I'm just trying to understand and like, look, it's fine. Um, good. Um. Hey, Lomasa, yes. Don't know if you just reminded me to get back into Lomasa. Have fun. Have fun. Are uh, we moving on to tampon tax now? Did we get rid of that in Australia? I feel like we did. Tampon tax. Australia. Yes. So, the 10% tax on women's sanitary products was removed following an 18-year campaign. However, companies not legally obligated to cut their prices accordingly despite being GST exempt. ACCC advises customers who have been charged GST on sanitary products to return to stores with proof of purchase and seek a refund. So yeah, we don't have the tampon tax in Australia anymore. However, the companies who sell sanitary items were under no obligation to cut what would have been the GST out of their prices. So basically getting rid of the tampon tax just got more profits into their pockets. <laughs> so yeah, look. Uh, good morning, good luck. Thank you, Flibble. I hope you're having a wonderful morning. It's nice to have it confirmed. It is, agreed. I can't imagine how difficult it is to get a comfortable item like this. Yeah, right? Like, I mean, fuck, I never, I never managed to find a comfortable knee brace. <laughs> they were either not compressed enough, so, like, I, my, my knee still hurt actively and was swollen and shit, or they were too tight and uncomfortable. Like, there's, there was just no in-between. Um, knee brace for two months after knackering over knee playing squash. Those things are pure hell. I had to wear one for about six months. Because of my autoimmune shit. I still have both of them. Because, you know, just in case. Just in case. Because uh, my knee has permanent damage to it. So sometimes if I do kind of overplay my hand and uh, fuck something up, um, if it's uncomfortable, sometimes it feels like it just needs... It's, it's not necessarily the compression and the getting rid of the swelling that it needs. Sometimes it just needs a bit of support for the joint to hold everything together while it heals. Um, and so occasionally I'll wear the larger one just to kind of give it some support if I've, if I've like done something stupid, um, like attempted to go for a five kilometer walk or something. <laughs> uh, I use a binder rather than tape, which is where most health issues come from. I'm using reasonably loose binder, breathing, no worries, at the risk of TMI, no barrier between underneath breast and torso. Oh, the under boob sweat. It's fine. I just waltz straight over the line of TMI. <laughs> like, <laughs> Where off we go. Uh, <laughs> you know, under boob sweat is the worst. It's gross. It's gross. Just like any perspirant help under there. Because I mean, I, I wear a bra all the time. So if, if I do have under boob sweat, it usually gets soaked up my bra, by my bra, which is also a, another level of icky, but it gets washed. Um, but if you don't have that kind of separation there, um, does it kind of help with the perspiration or does that only really work with underarms? Wonderful. Oh fuck man, I'm lazy. <laughs> yeah. This would be like a bra where I supposed to want to work. I just dim it smelled after only four to six hours. Uh, we can't get things right for people with periods. How can we get it right for trans who are a much smaller percent of the population? Uh, personal choice. I think you can also find some advice on red on clothing style for those who have more of a straight shape. Might be a better way to go first. Try and feel comfortable in your natural body. So progress is being made. Maybe we can hope to see improvements continue for trans pop. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I brought it up to still... Spots and boobs buckets. <laughs> Fair. Uh, what am I getting a workout? Yeah, sorry, Shiba. Look, we're having a fun conversation. So. 
This is one of the disadvantages of having to have auto mod operative for dickheads, but also being a channel where things are not really off limits. You know, it's a we've we've struck one of those one of those topics that is a gold mine for auto mod. Making you work for it, Shiva. Making you work for it. Her damage right collarbone as well, since I broke it, I had two surgeries on it. Oof, I'm in pain every day, can't see my favourite side. Oh no! It's so interesting that like your your body hasn't decided your left side is now your favourite side. Because of the do you know what I mean? Like that's so strange. Why do you keep doing this? This is the same time it happened yesterday. I must have. There must be something in a schedule somewhere that has flucked it. There wasn't anything in here, but uh, maybe there is and it's like hidden or something. Um. So that's a few things there, but none of them really... I have zero schedules now. Yeah, nothing is here. Nothing here says that... It's really odd. But yeah, that's like both days now. At 7pm on the dot, it's transitioned to that colour. So, I don't know. There, it's almost like there's a schedule in there. Um, that I'm not seeing. to launch the desktop app and see if there's anything in there as well. And if there's not, then I will email them. This is going to get super annoying. Um. I am so make up an idea with you. I hope you deal with it. Well, that's the thing. Some people don't get it because the way that their shape is sits out and up rather than folding over to have the contact there do you know does that make sense like shapes are very different um some and then on a totally different level some people just won't sweat there some people will like i don't get like my face doesn't sweat it's really weird 
It just goes bright heckin' red when I, like, get warm or when I work out or whatever. My face turns bright red, but I don't sweat. Uh, some people don't sweat in other areas. Bodies, yay! Um, but there are, there are always ways to deal with stuff. Um, it's just a matter of finding which method works best for you and your body. As per usual. I fear, I don't know if I said thanks for the step one discount. I'm sure I fell in love. Another 11 pairs, oh my god. Amazing, such game changers. Anyone wondering, they do everything they say on the tin. Yay! I think you did mention, I think you mentioned that you'd fallen in love, so you went and, and bought some. But I didn't know how many. Holy shit, that is so awesome. I'm so happy for you. Yay for finding something that fits and works. I'm so pleased. I'm, uh... Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, these are the blush ones. They're the pale pink ones. Ah, uh, yep. Step 15. Free 15% discount. Not affiliated. Sponsored, but not affiliated. They sent me stuff for free in exchange for posts and yapping. And that is what is happening. Uh, so an arrow the friend who nearly needed his binder. Putting your wacky fans into it. Awesome. Um, evening all. Hello, Seeker. Thank you so much. This was a wonderful gift from Rump. And it's fucking gorgeous. It's the same top as yesterday, except in emerald green rather than white. And I love them both so fucking dearly. There are three other colors. It also comes in black, wine red, and a really lovely shade of gray. Uh, so I am considering adding the other three to my wardrobe because they it just fits me so well and oh yeah love love but welcome back Seeker. I hope you're having a lovely day oh look there's the step one thing um because you're going to doctors again maybe get it checked and muscles stuck under my collarbone and can't crack not to my right side oh yeah yeah definitely look um oh, <laughs> I think going and seeing a medical professional sounds like a really good idea um yeah good luck hey I was just in your group, didn't know until I looked over and saw the druid on stream. Oh, there you go. There you go. Was I on a druid last? I must have been. I think I was on the... Oh, druid is in fairy. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I was on Sindeli. I'm on Lucille at the moment. Uh, if you are on my friends list, if you're not on my friends list, you can type exclamation add me and I can uh, add you to my friends list. It gives you my battle tag so you can add me. Uh, and then you can use quick join. You can use the quick join function, which is just here, uh, to quickly join the group. Uh, and you can queue with us if you so desire. No pressure, though, to anybody. Uh, I think you're trying to wash cloth barrier. I have to choose between temperate comfort and gender comfort. I need to get creative. For sure. For sure. Uh, face doesn't sweat. Dang, I'm jealous. Mine turns into waterworks if I go too hard. The rest of me does, though. It's like the rest of me overcompensates. Especially when I'm exercising. But yeah, my face just get And I look like I've been slapped many times from shitloads of different angles. Like, I, when I, I look like I've been sunburnt very, very badly on my face. Complete with, like, the white line around my eyes. Because you know how, like, the, the blood vessels around in, in your eye skin and stuff aren't quite the same. So my eyes don't flush. And then I get the little white line around my lips and stuff as well. But the rest of me looks like I've been cooked. It's ridiculous. And it takes like a good hour to come back to normal color. So <laughs> it's not all good, I promise. I promise. Heartbreak is still staying true to his name for Yes, but I have summoned Iron Jesus, or have attempted to, with my nails. So we'll see how that goes. I know the whole drip of the minute change woman. Yes, amazing. Face doesn't sweat, but my hairline does. Interesting. Interesting. God, aren't body, like, isn't the human body super fascinating? I really, really like it. And everyone green wine bread would be amazing, right? Right? Yeah, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it. I, I just, yep. Yeah, I'm gonna jump on and I think I might stick them on the wish list and see, like, unless and until I can afford to grab them myself. So unfun. Oh, you're very welcome. Hey, Evie. How goes the quest for breaking hearts? Look, we're getting there. Uh, this is uh, tune number 16 for the day. <laughs> Top was amazing. Thank you. Everyone keeps saying that, and I'm like, fuck yeah. This is from Rump. This is a gift from my throne wish list from Rump. I'm very thankful. 
very thankful. And I promise future gifts I will unbox on stream because yesterday we had a big discussion about it and I realized I did done fucked up and I missed a total opportunity to actually like unbox on stream and capitalize on that excitement and shit. So, you know, I fucked up. It's all right. I can admit that I'm human. I make mistakes. And so moving forward, I will absolutely uh, be unboxing stuff on stream because it's far more fun that way. Ah, uh, I'd like to keep my eyes open. That happens at least. Well done. Definitely understood the assignment. Good. Good. Uh, I feel like I get asked if I'm sunburnt on a hot day. I'm like, no, just give me 20 minutes in front of the AC and I'll be fine. Yeah. Yep. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Oh, yeah. We all be learning all the time. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like, you know, being able to acknowledge is, uh... Acknowledge, accept, work on it. It's a, it's a good thing, right? It's a good thing. But I do have a couple of things on the way. There's um, a couple of lipsticks and a lip liner um, from Zarin and Sean that have been shipped uh, and are on their way, but they seem like they've gotten caught in some delays in the OzPost network. Um, and then there's... Um, the leggings that I believe they were from Lander, weren't they? The leggings are from Lander. Um, they went through as anonymous, but we we had the conversation. I'm pretty sure they were from Lander. Um, so they, I don't think they've been sh they've been ordered, but um, yeah, style does take a little while to process stuff, and it does because it's shipping from overseas as well. It'll take a little while longer to get here, um, so I'll have to have a little patience with that. Uh, and then. Fucking Fitbit, Zarin, good lord. Uh, Fitbit coming from Amazon. Has, it has been ordered. Um, but I don't, I didn't get tracking information from them last time, so it, it will probably just rock up on my door whenever it's ready. Because that's what happened with the earrings. I had no notification whatsoever, it's just all of a sudden, earrings! So, um, yes. That's what's, uh, on the books for the future. And Jas picked up my hair curler today. It was my birthday present to myself. It's from Wylera Hair, and it's a uh, it's a wireless thing where you kind of put a chunk of hair through it, and then you kind of press a button, and it kind of goes zoop, and then kind of holds it there for a second, and then you just kind of pull it down, and it just kind of yeah. So we'll see how it works. We'll see if it's worth what I paid for it. <laughs> Ah, uh, right time for dinner. Start making the pile of washing while the sun's out and the wind is blowing. Yas, Phoenix. Yas. We will see you soon. Enjoy your food. Do some rocket runs too with you in the background. Yas. Yes, you did do the leggings. Good. Okay, I remembered. I need to keep I keep reminding myself so I don't forget. Good. Fip I know, right? But this is Jas's. <laughs> this is this is Jas's that I stole a while back. Um and I was like, I, because I borrowed his to see how it went and to see if I was using it well and like would actually get use out of it and stuff like that. And I've been using it for a few months on and off because um, we had some issues with the strap. Uh, but I bought him a new one because it broke while I was wearing it. So I bought him a new one because that's what you do. Uh, you break it, you buy it. Um, but yeah, I was like, okay, good. I do like it. So I, I went and found one that I liked and I'm like, okay, cool. When I save up some money. That is, that is what I'll buy. And then Zeron was like, haha, psych, birthday. Um, and so now it's on its way. Um, which is, I'm just, I'm blown away. Generosity, my lord. My lord. Love my Fitbit. It is, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I need to figure out, maybe I can find a way to completely de-identify my account. If I can find a way to de-identify myself, so no name, no address, no no location data, nothing like that. If I can figure out a way to do that, maybe we can make like a community for like, because you know how you can make like groups in the in the Fitbit app and stuff to like do challenges together and shit. But no, not if it's gonna dox any of us. Not at all. That's um not okay. So I'd have to figure out if I can do it without having any of that. Um, but it'll be good because I'll have one and Jas will have one. So he and I can experiment and see if we can make a community where we can't see anything about each other. Um, and then if we can do that, then we can do that with you guys as well. But we'll see. We'll see. 
Make sure to pay it to line. We've got gale force winds. Oh my god. Be careful. Lord. Ah, uh, we were talking about dinner this time. Throws me down time zones. I know, right? It's uh, it's quarter past seven here. Uh, and Jas has gone out for dinner with his family. So I have pasta in the fridge. Turning in for me. Time for second breakfast before my therapy. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Mm, second birthday present. I know, right? Oh, shit. Yeah, no, you know what? Fuck it. Find us a new group. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Um, family Fitbit group. Only if it can hide everything super personal about us. Obviously, it's going to share things like exercise statistics and stuff like that. I am fine telling you how far I walked today, how many steps I took, etc., etc., what I ate. That's fine. I do not want anyone to see where I walked, <laughs> where I live, my name, etc. Like, you know what I mean? Like, as long as it can be totally de-identified, sure. If not, no, it can get fucked. Um, we just have a channel in Discord. Everyone can do it regardless of the device. Fair. That is also a really good idea because you can always post like screenshots of stuff and then crop out or blank out any personal stuff. That's probably a much better idea. All right. Cool. Yes. I'll wait till it arrives so that Jas can join in too, though, with his one. Um. Sorry, my game lag there. No, it's okay. All good. All good. Uh, just ate breakfast. Nice. 1.14 a.m. So munching on some chips. Ooh, Shiba, what flavor? What flavor chips? It's important information. How dare you omit? I'm kidding. It's fine. You're right. 13 hours ahead of me, 4.15 a.m. What fear gets own dinner on stream night? Yeah, absolutely. It's a microwave meal, but it's fun. <laughs> I was also going to make a bubble. I was going to pre-make a bubble tea. Um, oh, update. I have an update for you. So um, you remember that there was something in the white pearls that Jas found and he was like, mm, I don't know what this is, but it doesn't look right. So I'm not. So I went and had a look after stream. It 100% absolutely was mold. Um, it, it almost looked like, you know, those like underwater mushrooms and they're like that kind of slimy sort of flat. Yeah, it was very much a, a heckin' chunk of mold, um, like clear with black spots and stuff like that. So yeah, it was, uh, I took a photo uh, I grabbed the expiration date from the bottom of the tub and I sent that in them in a, sent that to them in an Instagram DM. Um, and they apologized. And they are sending me uh, a replacement and a 10 pack of strawberry tea with popping pearls to say sorry. When I say the Bubble Tea Club has phenomenal customer service, I ain't shitting you. Like, it, I mean, yes, they have phenomenal product. Their shit is delicious. It is reasonably priced. It is, it is awesome stuff. Like, all that aside, sometimes things go wrong. Even if you have, even Logitech, even when you have, uh, like, you know, arguably the best product on the market, even when sometimes you still have things go wrong and how you handle shit when they do go wrong is what can make or break you as a company. And both Logitech and Bubble Tea Club have always, anytime I've ever had an issue, have always been top fucking shit when it comes to handling that stuff and making me feel like a valued customer. And that is why I'm affiliated with both of them because I just... It's, that is just such an important part of the of the purchasing experience for me. Knowing that if something goes wrong, it won't be a nightmare. Um, uh, this seems a little unsafe to me. I reckon info doesn't get de-identified enough. Fair, fair. Yeah, maybe, maybe screenshots where we can actually control, or even not even screenshots. It could just be typing in, this is how far I walked today. The I got the data from my fitness shit. Like, yeah, I think I think Meaty's idea is a much, much better one. I, I like the idea of having stuff automated so I don't have to do it myself. Like, it just gets posted to the group so that you guys, I don't, I don't have to actively do anything. Because, you know, it's me and I'm busy. But it is going to be absolutely safer to do it manually in a Discord channel like that. You're, you're like absolutely right, 100%. 
Um, Cutest healer and DPS got in as DPS. Nice. Awesome source. Uh, okay, that's 10 Alliance. I'm heading back to Horde. That's just me. Scour cream and onion. Ooh. Sour cream and onion is a fucking good choice. Well done. Go you. Go you. Best flavor. 16 hours. Math. Math. Yeah, bubble tea legends is such a good way to get repeat customers. Oh, they're so awesome. Super awesome. Hey, a hat doing well. How are you? It's fine to have cake for second breakfast. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Jas bought me a birthday present and it hasn't arrived yet because shipping delays, because COVID. I, there's no, I'm fine with that. He's upset. He's pissed. But um, I'm fine with that. It's totally okay. What that means is it's my birthday till the present gets here, which means everyone can have cake. No arguments. Can. You don't have to. You can if you want to. <laughs> That's what my excuse has been anyway. <laughs> 100% recommended even. Yes. Evening. Hello, dupe. I don't remember either. Doesn't matter. Hello. <laughs> uh, I wasn't aware there are other acceptable options. Precisely. Ah, oh, dear. BRB buying a cake. Enjoy. Enjoy us, me done for the night. Good luck with the rest of your cues. Thank you, fairy. Much appreciated. It's my birthday on Monday. Yay, birthdays! Eating cake all week. Happy birthday for Monday. It was my mum's birthday on Wednesday as well, and I get to see her. I'm going to be with my mum in less than 24 hours. It has been over two years since I've seen my mum because of the fuckery. It's been over two years since I've seen any of my family. It's the longest it's ever been. Like, the longest it had ever been was approximately, like, four or five months between seeing a member of my family face-to-face -face prior to this shit. Two years. Yeah. So, I get to see her tomorrow. And I am... I am so excited. We're gonna be eating... So, we're gonna eat so much food. We're going out for dinner on Saturday. Dinner on Friday. Dinner tomorrow. So that's why there's an early stream tomorrow, guys. Don't forget. Midday. Noon. 12 noon. Australian Eastern Standard Time uh, is when the stream is going live tomorrow because I'm going out for dinner with my mum tomorrow on Friday and then we're going for lunch on Saturday and then for breakfast on Sunday. Um, and I'm obviously I'm going to spend time with her outside of that as well, but I'm just, I'm so excited. Ah, uh, fear shoves cake down our throat, throats, no remorse. Look, look, couldn't have regular cake if I wanted to. There, look. Regular cake aside, I'm not always the biggest fan of regular cake. Um, I'm guessing that you're saying because you said couldn't, there's a specific potentially medical reason, like an allergy or, a, or an intolerance or something like that, uh, that you can't have it. There are so many different types of cake out there. Like, good lord. And if you don't like any of the dessert style cakes, lasagna is pasta cake. And there are so many different things you can do with lasagna. Mum, my mum used to make. Uh, we we affectionately called it Mexican lasagna, where you use tortillas as the pasta sheets, and you mix the taco seasoning or the burrito seasoning or whatever sachet into the like the red sauce for the for the uh, lasagna. Um, people use eggplant as slight. It's actually really tasty. Like eggplant as the pasta if you can't have pasta and stuff. Like there are look, cake is magnificent and morphable and customizable for whatever needs you may have and all types of cake are acceptable here all types i'm so hyped for you for me too i'm so hyped for me i'm so hyped for me really thank you so since here's i'm very happy if you meet i'm just yep yeah, for sure mum stream maybe that's gonna be up to her um she may or may not arrive on tomorrow on tomorrow good on friday i'm so used to saying on friday um but yeah she she may or may not arrive during my streaming um if she does i have told her she's more than welcome to join me on camera same for my stepfather uh but it is up to them uh i'm not going to pressure them in either way because that's not fair uh but yes it's a challenging time for so many people it really and in so many different ways as well in so many different ways because like you know not everyone uh, needs or wants to be close to their family and stuff or um, if they have like loved ones they may be fine being apart from them for very extended periods of time but it'll be difficult for them in other ways as well like it's just this has been 
totally unprecedented in so many ways. And everyone has struggled with so many different things and yeah. Yeah. Mum look. So 9am for me, cool they go. Force fed cake depending on the cake side me up. Type 1 diabetes. There are sugar free cakes. Absolutely. Uh, there's even potato cake apparently. There is! Potato cakes are delicious and amazing and awesome. No questions. Any serpent you got? Oh shit, that's not what I wanted. Um. I'm feeling like... This might be the go, although I won't be using it very much today. Um, it's so, it drives me batty that the Crimson Cloud Serpent icon is so different to everything else. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Mm, yummy meaty pasta cake, correct. Indeed. Into school time, out of the game, please stream in three quarter, three, four class. Let's go watch the vote when I get home and pretend it's live. Totally fair. Totally fair. You want to call it early night tonight? Body needs a bit of a reset. Of course, Shiba. Go for it. Rest well. Rest well. Reminds me of the cake or death skit. We didn't expect the cake to be so popular. <laughs> uh, lasagna is just spaghetti cake. Exactly. Cake is good. It is indeed. But potato cake, you clearly meant to say potato scallop. Nope. Absolutely not. My name of my names, call them cakes. I know, I know. Is this, this, no. Let's change. Flying, freaking, stop flying then. Uh, so is it just a Melbourne thing? No, I don't think it is, but it could be. Maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, what is the thing you have three of on the login screen? Character boosts. You get a free one with expansions, usually. Okay, good. Um, what am I? No, no kitty. Pass the Healy. Alright, good. <clears throat> nope, fear did not click a link. That is a toy. That's a toy in game. Today he likes for the win. Yes. Uh, yep. Yeah. No, it's it's a toy. Dolly and Dot. It's it's the it's a toy. It's like a jukebox thing. Um. Uh. Such and such sets out Mira's jukebox, and that's what it does. It plays that godforsaken song. Um. Like I come out from under the bed to slice your ankles. Yes. It is wrong. Yeah, boosts. Yeah, character boosts. That I haven't used. Because who needs a character boost when you can just level a tune? I'm not judging people who choose to use boosts. Absolutely not. You you do you. Uh, I have the time to level. Did. Had the time to level. Uh, and I don't have the money to boost. I, I mean, granted I have them, but I don't want to use them because I like leveling. So there you go. Uh, I'm going up in a few days, got some glass few tomorrow. Forget, ah, interesting. Oh, excuse me, I'm guessing it's uh, work related gossip. But um, bum. Today, I'll be seeing your mum soon. Welcome back, Crumb, and I'm very glad too. I'm, I'm just so looking forward to it. Um, 
I've used some undue class of different races or servers mainly because I don't like the icon just sat there. Fair. Fair. Yeah, honestly, it's been there for such a long time. I used to have like a couple of them because there were boosts to like 100 and then boosts to 110 and then boosts to, you know what I mean? So I had a couple of different ones sitting there and then they, um, with the level squish, they consolidated them all um, to like level 50s, I think. Any existing boosts that you had became level 50 boosts regardless of what level they were before. Um, and I honestly don't even notice them anymore. I had to kind of think for a second to ask, like, to figure out what you were talking about. And I was like, oh, right, three of them. Yeah, no, I had the boosts. Hmm. So everyone not be as interesting. Very fair. Very fair. Uh, I'm very lucky my mum lives 600 meters from me. Yeah, my mum lives, um... Thousand Ks or more? I don't actually remember. It's a lot. It's, it's a ways. It's a ways. When they were on their way, um, she sent me a photo of a, a sign, like a highway sign, that said Brisbane was like 800 plus k's away. Um, so yeah, she's she's a while away. Uh, Brisbane, that's eight hours from Melbourne to Canberra. Yeah. Um, yeah, she might have been like the halfway point or something. Not sure. Um, so yeah, it's 55 minutes. It's okay. Uh, and then mum is an additional approximately, what, four hour drive from Melbourne? South of. So, yeah. Yep. <laughs> She's a ways away. Are they driving all the way? They are. They have a caravan. Uh, they're staying not they're not staying in Brisbane. So they they've got the the camper van in a location and then they're driving they're leaving that there and then taking just the car up to Brisbane and staying I think they're staying in like an Airbnb up here. Uh, and then meeting up with us and then they'll drive back down and meet up with the camper van and then yeah. Go the rest of the way. Road trip. They left on like Monday, I think. Or maybe before then. I think I'll eventually come back to where probably a week after 9-2 drops. Fair. Totally fair. Oh, less than a day's driving, no. What's less than a day's driving? Yeah, they're not they're not doing like the overnight drive thing. Um yeah, but they they're not driving for 17, 18 hours straight. Oh, was you okay? Gotcha. Turn in text. Strikes again. Oh, dearie me. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. 17 for three minutes. We're doing alright. Keeping good time. Uh, I feel like I'm going to use screen in a few years when COVID settles down. Yeah, um, when, when I move to Melbourne, we're probably going to road trip it. Uh, Jazz has expressed that he wants to move as well. Um, so there's that. Uh, so we'll probably just, yeah, stick a bunch of the furniture and stuff in a truck, backload it down, uh, and then drive ourselves with the fragiles like our PCs, uh, <laughs> our babies, um, <laughs> and then uh, stop at a couple places along the way, make it like a three-day drive. <clears throat> uh, he's got some family in a couple places and I've got some family in a couple places. Uh, we can kind of stop along the way, not necessarily to stay with them, but just to kind of drop in and say hi. Can you tell I haven't thought about this at all? I wonder if I would be able to stream that. I think the connection would be absolutely shit. But I could absolutely, like, stick 
the phone on something on the dashboard. But I think it'd be hella fucking boring without the gameplay. Because <laughs> the gameplay usually spurs the conversations, you know? So yeah, I think it'd be interesting, but maybe maybe not as interesting enough to keep it going. As soon as you said, you play setup comp immediately. Exactly. Exactly. Borrow like a trestle table from someone and... <laughs> Fucked up stream. Yep. That would also be... I'd obviously have to have a net connection, but I don't know. Figure it out. You're back! Welcome back, Suck! Internet dropped Oh, shit. Yeah, that's no fun. Uh, but it would be interesting. It would be a good stream. Might cut out a bit. Oh, yeah, it'd, it would probably cut... Well, although they are doing this fucking 5G rollout bullshit, aren't they? Isn't that supposed to cover more areas and stuff? Or have I misheard that? Mm, road trip stream would be good. I feel like if I had a... um. Oh, what what I should do? Oh my god! What I what I should fucking do is next time Aldi has those dirt cheap crossword books. You know the crossword notebooks. Just set up the stream, and the whole stream will be like, guys. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Four letter word for oh no, and then just wait for the chat responses. Like. <laughs> Correct, Yori. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm so happy. That'd be so good. I, that, would that? Okay. I think that'd be kind of fun. I reckon that could actually be fun. Am I in Brewmaster? I absolutely am. Let us attempt to heal in Brewmaster spec. It's all right. I have Vivify. It's all I need. I think. Be a lot of fun. Okay. Noted. Might have to do a, uh, might have to put together a savings account for the, um, the fucking data though. Because uh, <laughs> I feel like my, my phone provider would be like, excuse me, no, just for the upload. But yeah, like the whole, the, the perfect idea, and I, I spoke to dad about this, the, the best idea I've had, like the, the perfect setup would be lovely for, for moving, would be um, like leaving on a Friday or so, um, driving down, I think Brisbane to Port Macquarie is like eight hours or so, or six hours, I think it'd be like six, eight and eight would be the, like the, the hops, like the jumps. Um, I think it was gonna, I think Port Macquarie was what I was thinking of. Cause I've heard Port Macquarie is a lovely place. I've never been, but Jas has family there. Um, so skip from Brisbane to Port, stay there the night. Skip from Port to Sydney, stay there the night. And then skip Sydney to Melbourne. Um, maybe swing by dad's place and say hi. Maybe have some food with him and stuff. And then go the rest of the way down to mum and get there on a Tuesday. So I think I'd have to leave on the, if it was Port, Sydney, so only two nights. So I'd be leaving on the Sunday and then Sunday night in Port, Monday night in Sydney, and then see dad Tuesday evening and then drive down and spend Tuesday night with mum, then spend Wednesday night with mum, then spend Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday night in an Airbnb in the city for PAX, then spend Monday, Tuesday night with dad, like I would usually at dad's place, and then move into a new place. And that's when the backload truck arrives. Because it's like just over a week. That's usually, I mean, granted that's how long it took when I moved from Sydney to Brisbane. I don't know how long it would take to go to, it might take long, it might take two weeks. Um, but that would be like, like, get in there at the end on that, on that, like, um, Wednesday would be awesome. Cause that way I wouldn't be, 
that way I wouldn't be living without all of my stuff for too, too long. Uh, and it's essentially a holiday. So it takes that, it, it kind of removes some of that stress out of the whole moving situation. And excuse me. Um, yeah, it just, I think it'd, I think it'd be a nice transitional period as well. But, you know, we'll see. Who knows? Who knows? I think of the order. MBN just saying, yeah, you know what, you know what? You're, you're not fucking wrong. Um, <laughs> Salusi often does driving streams in a way to do fishing spots. Yes. Yeah, I've heard. Um, I've also, she's, um, she's very knowledgeable on the, the portable stuff. However, I think she was looking to do some upgrades, I think. I don't remember. Um, yeah. I'm down across the stream. Let's go. Be so good, be a lot of fun, It'd be fun to do. Crap, poop, shit, so many four letter words. Four letter words are the bestest. Oh, 30 second point. Oh no, oh no. Uh, hey, kangaroo stew, welcome on in. You get so, so, you'll so get 50 cars convoying with you once they work out where you're driving. The fun bit about driving through like Australia from capital city to capital city is that it's just nothingness as far as the eye can see. Just. Plains of nothing, except maybe the occasional wire fence. So good luck <laughs> is the is the key here. Good luck. And the only like the act the only actual identifiable landmarks out on those roads are so far out of the way that by the time you get there, where we're two hours gone already. Like. <laughs> Ah, it is lovely, it always rains. Planning on moving? Not just yet, uh, but yes. Yeah, it's a, um, ah, 52. Nice. Uh, it's always been a goal of mine to move back to Melbourne. Uh, it's where all my family is from. It's where I am, uh, where I'm from. Um, and I miss them all very dearly. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, the eventual plan uh, is to move back home and it always has been. Uh, it's just, kind of always been, yeah, at some point, but now it's like, no, I want to go now. Uh, but I'm not going now. Um, I've got a, I've got a lot of things to get sorted first, like all the rest of my dental work, uh, get that finished. Uh, because changing, um, uh, changing surgeons and specialists and stuff like that halfway through a course of treatment is usually not super advised. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll see how we go. <clears throat> Moving really sucks. I'd say come to WA. We have COVID going nuts right now. Uh, yeah, I also don't know anyone in WA. Like, my family's in Melbourne. That's why I want to go to Melbourne. Uh, it's going nuts everywhere right now. And is. Lived there from three to five years. Need to come back one day. True, yeah. Yeah. That's all right. I mean, if anyone tried to pull stupid shit on the roads, I would call the police. <laughs> and they would uh, get into many troubles. Uh, or a random rock. I'm gonna have to watch Saturday and Tyler's moving video now. Oh no, stop leveling, get that mount already. I'm trying! I've look, I actually have my my lucky earrings on today and everything. I'm I'm trying, alright. 1326 attempts. We're getting there. We're gonna open three or four times, nice place. It is. When I lived there, uh, I was quite a bit south of Melbourne. Uh, when I move there, I wanna be a lot closer to the city. I just, I really, really love it there. Really love it there. Brisbane is great, don't get me wrong. Um, it's it's convenient because I like, I know where all my favorite places are and stuff because Brisbane's quite small. <clears throat> so it's easy to get from one side to the other and, and you know, know everything in between sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, no, Melbourne is, Melbourne's special. Jesus heck, that is a lot of attempts. That's over a couple of years, though. That's over a couple of years. The city of Melbourne is gorgeous. Yes. So how many attempts? What number are you on left for today? Uh, 1,326 total. This will be character number 27 for the day. I will be finishing up today if it doesn't drop on 1350. Uh, we're over halfway. Thankfully, because we're nearly at two hours. Like, good lord.
Ah, uh, this is hot blah. Melbourne likes to rain. Rain is good. Yeah, all the different capitals have their own little things that make them awesome. Don't put trains on roads here up here in Brisbane. What the fuck are you guys thinking with hook turns? Look, I don't have a license, so it's fine. It's fine. Jazz is the one who has to figure those out. <laughs> the other option is just don't drive through the city. Drive to peripheral to the city and then catch the free trams in and around the city. Easy peasy. 1331 will be it. Okay. If you reckon so. Uh, can you tell me please what's your opinion on Kate Coil of Blood and Thunder? I don't know what that is. I have no opinion because I do not know what that is. Uh, have you heard they're talking about changing the drop rate the next year? No, they're not. Um, doing 16 tunes, 100, 350, not seen it drop for anyone, let alone me. I've had 1,327 attempts now and I've never seen it drop for anyone, let alone me. They are not talking about changing the drop rate. They are, all the blue posts said, this is the thing. Wowhead has a habit of taking things and putting information next to each other and letting people, ah, oh, shit, I'm in holy spec, goddamn. This is gonna be a fun time. Um, uh, yeah, they have a they have a habit of putting information next to each other that makes it look like what it isn't. All the blue posts said was, "Yes, I know it sucks. We're looking at potential solutions." They never mentioned the drop rate. They never mentioned changing the drop rate. They looked at possible solutions for the fact that it is not fun. Upping the drop rate doesn't necessarily make it more fun, so that's not necessarily what they're talking about. Um, yeah, all they said was, I'm it sucks. i uh... Clearly I'm not a paladin because I forgot to fucking switch specs. All they said was, it sucks, we know. Watch this space. I'm not a paladin, uh... These people are dying, so I may not be able to tank, but what I can do is keep them alive. Because I'm accidentally in holy spec. Out we get. Um, but yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, people read the, people read the, uh, where I had title and then just kind of ran with that. Um, Wowhead has been putting out a shitload of misinformation lately, and by lately I mean in the last couple of years. I'm not so a paladin, I'm just kind of uh... over that. Good lord. <laughs> Thank you very much for the bits. Appreciate. Uh, when to Eureka Skydeck once I was scared of heights. I said at least it was an experience. I can imagine chaos, I can imagine. And I respect that. Brilliant. Hope you're having a lovely day, Parrish. The fuck word. That was Skydeck, yeah. Yeah, uh, I officially need a command to cover this. Look, I feel like we might need to. Potentially. Uh, but that's okay. Look. Um. Yeah, if I if I'm coming across as like angry or frustrated by that that question, um, I promise it's not directed at chat, it's directed at Wowhead. For putting out that type of misinformation. To the extent that I've had like 10 people ask me about it. And every single time it's been the same thing. That's not what Blizzard said. Like, <laughs> I'm just, I'm so frustrated that Wowhead allows them, like, their articles to go up with this kind of shit. I know it gets clicks, but I don't give a flying fuck. Um, it's, it's misinformation and it's irresponsible. Um... Uh, I really wanted to drop on a paladin must say. Just thought it'd be a moment of levity, considering the goof, of course. Of course. Just thought that was it. Ah, uh, whatever the pointy thing was. Whatever the pointy thing was. I don't know what it was. But no. Nada. Not yet. That's okay. Um... I think Wearhead does that a lot. For clickbait. Yeah, and it's not necessarily clickbait. It's, it's not false information. Um, but it is, yeah, it absolutely is. And, and they have to do that because that's how they make money. You click on the article, 
they get money. That's it's literally, you know, your ad views. That's that's how they keep themselves alive. And they have to do that because they need to pay their staff and stuff, and I respect that. Um, however, I, I firmly believe that spoilers in titles of articles, like spoilers in headlines and um, misinformation is, or twisting of information, however gently, uh, is not uh, is not appropriate. Um, I gasped and my husband said, what's wrong? I was excited. I accidentally closed the stream. Oh no, Seeker. Oh my God. That's hilarious. Oh, and there's no content to comment on. Make your own content is the way I had philosophy. Apparently, yeah. Although that honestly, a blue post about the heartbreaker is absolutely worthy of an article. Absolutely. But they twisted the information. They didn't need to. Blizzard aware that Heartbreaker Farm sucks. Blizzard looking at possible solutions to unfun Heartbreaker Farm. That's, a, that's accurate. No misinformation there. No misleading, no twisting, nothing. It's literally what was said. And both of those would get what? They're, wait, what? Solutions? What? Click. It w and neither of those would have involve misleading information. But heartbreaker drop rate, Blizzard looking at solutions, mentioning solutions and drop rate in the same sentence like that allows people to make that connection, which is false. So yeah, it's um, it's just irresponsible. I think it's more than 10, to be honest. You need to read more than just header, they need to read the full text. They do, yes, however, people don't. And people who write articles know that people don't. They skim for the headlines. Um, and part of responsible journalism, I know you may not think that Wowhead is real journalism, but they cover the news. It's very, very highly specific news, but it's still news. Um, part of journalism is understanding your reader and understanding what they are going to read, whether or not that's the headline or not. <laughs> um, so yeah, people absolutely do need to read. Yes, 100% agreed, but they don't. And it's, it's not our job to um, force them to read the whole thing. Um, in fact, I didn't read any of the article except for the text that was in blue. I ignored the rest of it because it was all just full of flaff. Like, I don't give a shit. So I just, I read the blue post, I read the blue text, and that was that. Um, because that was all the information I needed. But yeah, no, I, it's, I agree. Uh, I was beautiful seeing the city of Melbourne below me as I went into the room made of glass. It's amazing, isn't it? Full on, but amazing. Uh, as one of those ten, sorry, we'll be more carefully next time. It's all good, it's all good. We've had this conversation a couple times already, Kaz. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, another blue post, have you seen the Pets Mounts in 9-2 blue post, or is that too close to spoilers? Uh, I would say it's too close to spoilers. What I have seen is uh, Warcraft Mounts has a page of 9-2 mounts, and I have seen them to the extent of counting how many pictures there are. That's it. I've intentionally avoided the rest. No time saying intentionally avoided the rest. Uh, so thank you for checking. I really appreciate that. That's my uh, that's my official stance. Ah, oh, we've had a color change. I'm like, why is everything green all of a sudden? <laughs> Many appreciates for the bits. Um, but yeah, so I I know there are 43. I know there are 43 mounts. Uh, and I know that I will probably not get all of them because some of them are vicious mounts. Uh, it can make me think plus crown chemical crew that gives meaningful rewards along with your daily mount chance. I mean, the the rewards are meaningful for some people. There's a there's a necklace that drops. Uh, and what is it? It's the where's the shard? Ugh, stop moving. Uh, 120. Oh, so I'm level 51 and it's 124, but that scales up depending. Oh, that's the level 56 one is 124. So like for alts, like for gearing alts up, it can be quite handy. Um, but it is also, like, super quick, so, 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they'd put the Mythic Plus timer at, like, one minute. Because there's only three bosses, there's no trash room. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's... They'd have to actually create a whole new dungeon if they're going to make something that's actually reasonably difficult. Um, uh, but that's 30 down, so we're switching back to Alliance. Uh, is the emerald green top shiny? It's not, but it is polyester. <laughs> so that's probably what's giving it that shine. It's new, It's uh, it hasn't been washed yet, and it's polyester. So that's probably what you're seeing in terms of that shine. Um, Kind of, yeah, but it's not, it's not metallic, it's not sparkly, it's not, uh, it's just plastic and unwashed. <laughs> Shame, it might be an optical illusion. And, and no luck yet, not yet, I'll, not yet. Uh, responsible journalism on the internet? <gasps> I know, right? Come on, Blizzard, give the fee the mat. Like, I mean, look, I have, I have my lucky earrings. I have my 50 attempts. I have my heartbreaker nails. Look at these. Stop fixing my face. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that. Aren't they cool? Yep, so like, what more do I need to do, RNGs? I don't have a goat to sacrifice, okay? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's green, I thought it was black. Yeah, no, it is, is like emerald green. Um, I think like, that's black, so it's, yeah. Or gray, that's like charcoal gray, so. <laughs> Um, probably not the best of what's this? Is that black? That's black. There you go. That's my hard drive. That's and that's black. Uh, yeah. Welcome home. <laughs> that must be Jazz. Uh I do the same with my head articles. Read the blue and I'm done. Yep, exactly. Can't wait till I finish the farm. Done my three attempts. Yes! Thank you very much to 61302-7460 for redeeming green. For the 50 biddies. I don't know what the fuck Lumia stream is on. I'll have to go through and actually figure out what the hell all those commands mean. Anyway, I uh, level 55, 50, 60. That's okay. It's better. Than, look, hey, you've got shots. You've got you've got something to try, nurse. Got something to try. Shots? Where's my where's my right, package? Alright, that is for on stream. Huh? That is for on stream. No, it's my own purchase. So I want it. Okay. I might <laughs> have to make some modifications. To why? Oh, has it got shit yes. on the... Also, you haven't eaten. No. You want food? Yeah, probably. Because it's 8 o'clock. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, probably. Thank you. Yeah, um, it's just a microwave thing, so it's nothing too difficult. Thank Look! Even when he goes out for dinner with his family, he's heating up my dinner for me. Good lord. Good lord. Uh, I'm sad they didn't try to find a way to develop Torghast to make use of the resources they already committed to it. They should have done something like run long dual class or dual covenant. Uh, you pick something to get access to powers. Uh, already exist, but are limited to a quarter or a twelfth of characters. They put in so much effort only to shoot themselves in the foot on limiting how much a Torghast any person sees without playing city different alts. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of difficult, though, because a lot of those powers don't matter unless you are the specific class. Like, if I'm, as a mage, if I went in and got a fucking hunter, hunter power, I would be f furious. Like, do you know, you know what I mean? Like, that just doesn't make any sense. Um, uh, Ice was saying that they're sad that they didn't um, find a way to develop Torghast to make use of the resources and stuff and things. I can just put it down here. Black Onyx. Well, 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 well. The well, reason well, why well, they well, didn't well, develop well. Torghouse was the vast majority of players didn't really like it. No, 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 don't look out. Fucking... Open the thingy. I am. Not that thingy, that thingy. I already opened that box. There was nothing in it. Bugger. Seeker reckons it's gonna drop on a paladin. I suppose. So what is package anyway? Oh, is your hair thing? Yeah, it's my hair thingy. Ta-da! As fears present I'm to herself. Uh... Oh, it does a thing on the screen. I didn't notice that before. Oh, that cool. looks like shit. <laughs> I'm not a paladin. <laughs> you know that's now going to be another fucking sound command, right? You did it with no background noise, you numpty. Oh. 
Oh, am I a... Uh... Uh. Tank. Uh, but yeah, no, I... Look, there's, there's a lot of things about, um... Torgas not being taken proper advantage of and stuff like that, but, um... See, so there's there's one side of it where it's like, you know, I wish they'd put more into it. And I, look, I agree. However, I haven't done it for a very long time anyway. But it would have been kind of cool to see more extra bits and pieces. Uh, but then you've got the other side of it where people are going to say, we don't like it while you keep investing development time into it. Stop it. Um, you know, just stop trying to make fetch work. It's never going to work. You know, it's that kind of a deal. Oh, it's so pretty. The box opens up like this and it's like there. No, you. Um, sorry? No, you. Aw, that's very sweet of you. I'm gonna be sweet occasion. <laughs> gonna outweigh the bad sometimes. Not bad. Ah, uh, I know what you're googling after the 50th attempt. Ah, uh, where to find a goat. Look. Maybe. <laughs> you believe in you'll get them out this season? I bloody well hope so, Dan. What I'm expecting is that it's gonna drop on attempt number 1600. Which will be my last one at four in the fucking morning on, uh, on Tuesday as the event comes to a close. Because, you know, fuck me, I guess. Uh, but look, we'll see how we go. Uh, we'll see. I keep forgetting to put my, um... Don't forget to get old mate's attention. Alright. You can tank that one. Oh, strong button. I keep forgetting to put the Guardian macro on my bars. Thrash, swipe, swipe, swipe. No, I know, swipe, swipe, but swipe, it's swipe, swipe, easier swipe. to just smash one key, yeah? Listen. Thank you. Oh! Is it a goat? <laughs> oh my god. If someone has suggested a goat as a gift on throne for me, I am going to laugh my ass off. I just I got an email saying that a fan has suggested a gift. Uh, I'm gonna have a look after this, but um Yeah, it just uh <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> we do at the farm. I think my boss would be very upset and disappointed and angry with me. Yeah, no, absolutely. I don't want to get you in trouble, nurse. That would be not a very good idea. Not a very good idea. You throw in wish suggestion to go to sacrifice. Do you want me to kill the goat? No, no. Good lord, no. Good lord, no, do not kill the goat. Um, so I recommend a soft toy goat. Do we need to introduce, introduce a remind fear to eat, redeem? Look, maybe. Well, usually Josh just cooks dinner when he's hungry and brings it in, like, so it's fine. Uh, you pick your subclass and get three choices, whichever you, you pick is your set of abilities for which powers would then drop. That would require so much additional programming. Like, that's not even, that's not just an adjustment for Torghast. That's an adjustment on, like, a player, like a class level. I don't think like that would just be so much more work than I think you un that I think we are any of us understand. Like trying to give like making making a mage be able to have some hunter abilities, or like a death knight be able to have some priest abilities. Or, no, like unless they give you an item that you can use which casts a spell or something, it would just uh, which would be a nightmare to try to actually work with, uh, in my personal opinion, but, um, yeah, that would just be, like, so much more work than any, like, you wouldn't have enough of the player base using it to be worthwhile, I don't think. They'd use it up until they had all the rewards, and then they stop. That's how most players use the game. Um, oh, goodness. You can get powers dropping, you couldn't apply, it would just have more of the strength of roguelike, roguelike gaming applied. Clifford didn't notice that either I've redeemed how many of them. I don't know how. Maybe it's new. Maybe it's new. Who has 100k? <laughs> uh, guys, it's well worth getting back to nowadays, or I just be trapped in endless uh, threadmill of endgame unlocks. I mean, that's what most MMOs are, Zoe. Um, like, the vast majority of, of MMOs are. Yeah. Like you, you play, and the next the next patch comes out, and you get higher level gear again, and then the next patch comes out, and you get higher level gear again, and then the next expansion comes out, and then you level, and then you get gear, and then yeah. I mean, I I do all the collection -y stuff, so I got transmog and mounts and pets and toys and stuff to hunt and farm. Um, 
and I find that quite fun, but it is still fairly endless just chasing after the next reward kind of thing. So if that's not your your jam, then and that's totally okay. No judgment. Everyone's into their own personal stuff. Um, but if that's not your jam, then yeah, WoW's probably not the best thing for you to get back into. Um, but look, it, it's still f I still find it really fun. I still really enjoy it. I wouldn't be playing it if I didn't enjoy it. Um, there's, I know you said that you, um, previously you've been in here before, just like very, very briefly. Um, and you were saying that you had a kid and so you don't have time for WoW anymore and that it left a hole in your heart. Um, I checked the mod logs. I don't actually have that good a memory. Uh, but if you've enjoyed it before, chances are you might still enjoy it, but you could come back for just a month and see what you think. And if you don't like it and then you can stop again. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not. It's not like you're committing to a 10 year plan. <laughs> um, oh shit, I don't have my stuff equipped. So yeah, you can like, you can just give it a try if you so desired. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for the day. They've been heading outside. Enjoy, suck. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for the chats. I've really enjoyed having conversations with you. So I hope we'll see you again next time. Uh, I mean, that was like four minutes ago and she's probably gone. Uh, it's fine. Bless you. It's a rocket. did suggest a goat on throne. Yes, fantastic. Amazing. I think chances will be very long. Be a festival. Ram estate count. 100k, I would do it. Have you tried Lost Ark? No. I haven't. Uh, she's not Jassadin. Oh, Lord. Alright. Alright, alright. Um, I do still have two other in my queue, I think they're sound command redemptions, um, that I'm waiting on people to send me through the details for, uh, as well. Let me just double check after this. Um, no, there was a ding. It was not me. Yay for them. Um... Uh, Kaz, at a sound command, will send on Discord, and K, at a sound command, I feel like, the, I feel the hecking casual deserves my use at these points. Um, so I need MP3s from both of you to be able to do your redemptions, uh, and of course now Yori as well. Um, but yeah, just a heads up, that's there waiting for you. Just need your file. Uh, where was so great, there will always be stuff that aren't the best. Uh, but on a 17 year old game, even though the engine has been upgraded, there's, there is stuff not able to change. Yeah. Yeah. I'd agree. I still find it fun though, hey. Found a the numpty character in Arden World. Fantastic. Wonderful. Right. Throne gifts. Where's my wish list? Fan suggestions. I have to refresh, I think. Oh my god, it is. Oh my god, it is. Living Nature Soft Toy, Plush Farm Animal, Brown Goat 20 Centimeters, Realistic Soft Toys, with Educational Fact Tags. We can slaughter a goat plushie. We're not gonna kill the plushie. Hmm. Cuddle it. That's not a sacrifice. We can, we can figure out a way. How about we chop off a leg? Thank you. No! Uh, don't harm it, okay? It's a look at it. It's adorable. And that's freaking cute. That's just so adorable. beneath the beard. Have it right below the beard. No. Yes. Love it to death, correct. It's my to-do list, hopefully this weekend might be next. All good. All good, just a reminder. Um just can practice his Rogue and Josh. Also, hi, hello. Ah, uh, squish to death, fleshy goat, and skate guns. It is an offering, not a sacrifice. Exactly, it's an offering. Doesn't mean you have to kill the thing. It's too adorable to kill. 
death, death is an offering. Yeah, but we don't want to. No death. No death. Not killing the goat, okay. Unacceptable. Ah, uh, this one. <sighs> what sound do you agree? Is wait, wait, did I walk away? Peter Squid still fucking away. Did Jory? Yes, Yori did redeem Jacidin. Correct. ADK death is my thing. No. Well, you can just no. Put your thang away while we deal with the plush goat. Thank you. <laughs> Not acceptable. Death look fair. Fair. <laughs> fair look. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. So cute. Do I have to? Ch I'm sure I have to charge this before I can use it. Nobody die. How many people are dying? Me? I'm dying. I'm standing in the purple shit. Oh, there we go. No one died. Brilliant. Should be a cable find inside. Next character. Oh, oh, there's like a hole. You know when there's a hole to grab stuff, but this hole is like filled with something. I can't. No, piss off. All right. Put your thing away. Just is banned from the petting zoo. Oh dear. What is the count? Uh, 1335. Okay. This is a hell of a book. Oh, it's in a whole bunch of different languages. Okay, that, make, that makes more sense. Uh, okay. Ooh, it smells kind of plasticky. It seems like so simple to use, but I feel like that's got to be like just me not paying enough attention. I thought it had two holes in it. Like I thought it was there was a hole on the other end, but clearly not. Like it's got like, there's a slot on the front, but there's no slot on the- I thought there was a slot on either side. Clearly I am incorrect. dying as a tanking demon hunter. 
Are you in tank spec? I am. It's unusual. Okay! It's USB charging cable. That's awesome. I might have to... I might plug it in. Really curious. It's a hair curler, if anyone's... Like, what the fuck is she on about? Um... Humidity and are you using demon spikes? Good question. No idea. Comes with a little bag, like a carry bag to put it in, and the bookie book, obviously, and then this charging cable. Um, you haven't seen it, so if you know guys video about the device, it's pretty funny. Oh good! I haven't seen it actually. Um Found it randomly on the interwebs and was like, that actually looks like it might work. I will have to watch a video after stream. Thank you for the recommendation. Typing in her full name and Wylera, which is the brand, and I can't, it's not coming up with anything. It's just coming up with her most recent videos. Um, are you sure this was the product she used? There might it might be like a very similar thing, but. Um, like a different brand or something, and that's totally fine. I'm just trying to find it. Um, it's actually kind of squishy. See, I've had the exact opposite experience with all my demon hunters throughout this whole event. Uh, that's the first one that's come close to dying, just because they self-heal so goddamn much. Um, but that one was just taking a long time. Because I think it was just because we had, like, no, um range and I felt I don't think the healer was actually healing either so that's uh that's a thing uh part of her about the first five things TikTok removed okay awesome thank you for that thanks so much for that uh yeah it wouldn't probably wouldn't have been listed by um by brand wonderful not as wonderful because I didn't get the thing Click this, and I'm gonna mute it, and I'm gonna pause it. Pause! There we go. Perfect. Good! Ah, uh, fuck, what am I doing now? I've done this one already, haven't I? Yes. On to the next one. 13 to go, guys. 13 to go. For today. Nah, <laughs> we do it again tomorrow! Fuck. Um, I have to play around doing a Discord hands, you're gonna have a bad time. Uh, hey, AJ, how you doing? From 8th of December. Yeah, I found it. Thank you. Healer not healing. Yeah, that'll do it. I mean, yeah, but it's it's a combination. Like, usually a healer doesn't need to heal in these. Um, but occasionally... Uh, occasionally you don't have enough DPS, and therefore you need the healer to keep healing. Like, special event dungeons are wonky, as all hell. Like, they're a very special type of thing. Um, they work unlike anything else in the game. I, this shouldn't give me a connecting sound, but if it does, it's not you, it's me. Oh god, of course it charges on the bottom. Why? You're a standing up thing. Why would you charge on the bottom? You numpty. That's fine. One of those teach me social decorum situations. Oh no. Ah, uh, there's some small things in the TPS. Yeah. Ah, uh, so they went the elite attempt. I know, right? The elite attempt would have been great, but oh well. Oh well. It also wasn't a paladin, so I feel like everyone would have been pissed. Hey, a boot. How you doing?
Smack. I like this. Brilliant. Glad you're enjoying it. Oh, Rooney. Thank you, Barry. This is a gift from Rump. Very, very happy. I've got this one and the same thing in white, and they're gorgeous, and I'm thinking I might add the other three colors to my wish list because fucking hell, they're just... Oh, it just fits so well. Mm. Munch. Pretty sure I'm in tank spec. Yeah. Ugh. So just fear. <laughs> Look. Look. Ah, I go in here because I felt like I'm going to I was going to use to address you. Just platonic compliments cross boundaries. No. However, um, there's what I usually talk when I usually talk about complimenting people. Um, there's a particular line, uh, that if you stay on one side of it, compliments work really, really well. And if you cross over to the other side, it can get a little bit uncomfortable and creepy. So if you are complimenting something that the person has control over, a choice they have made that day or, or whatever. So like complimenting an outfit, great. Complimenting like their, their, their makeup look, their hairstyle, uh, shoes, bags, um, head so headphones. If they're, you know, don't ask them to take off their headphones to compliment them on their headphones. Don't, don't be a dickhead. But, um, you know, that, that kind of shit, if you're complimenting them on a choice that they made, then that's cool. I like your eyes. Your legs are amazing. I like your breasts. All creepy. Uh, <laughs> all creepy. Uh, stick to things that the person has made choices about. So yeah, compliment, for example, paying a compliment on the shirt that I'm wearing today, I've I've had a lot of compliments on my shirt today because it is a fucking banging color. It looks great with my hair and it fits me really, really well. Like the, the mock neck just sits just right to complement my body shape as does like the sleeve length and stuff. It is it is a good shirt. It is a good choice. Uh, it fits and it suits my body incredibly well. Um, and it is a choice that I made. I chose to put this top on today. I chose to put this top on my, usually I'd say I, I chose to purchase this, but I chose to put this on my wish list and then Rump bought it for me. So it's a choice, a series of choices I have made that has resulted in an awesome thing. Uh, so yeah, totally fine, totally fine. It's when it's when it's you know stuff that the the person can't really control is when it gets a little bit uncomfortable and creepy. Um, out we get. Uh. Uh, the last one even. I knew, look, I know, but you gotta throw it in there for funsies, right? Gotta throw it in there for funsies. I wanna Safia binge now? <laughs> yes. I haven't watched any of her stuff for such a long time. I was like every video, watching every video as it came out, and then she had her break, and I think I just kind of haven't really watched much YouTube at all for a while. I've been binging on Netflix instead. Um, so yeah, I, I may also fall down that hole this evening. Final Alliance tune. Even hearing you say that made me squirm. It's because we all know the feeling. It's because we all know it, Seeker. A lot of people are triggered by breast related comments. It, yeah, but it's, um, look, the word makes people a bit squeamish sometimes. Uh, but it, you know, it's a part of my body. I have them. It's a thing. I recognize that. Uh, you can be creepy about it and you can be not creepy or you can be like, you know, anatomical about it. It's a part of my body, which is why I went for the word breasts, uh, as opposed to any of the other uh, nicknames the particular body part has. Which common thing to hear for people with them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even sorry. Good. You shouldn't be, Ellie. You shouldn't be. Question. Is 50 the max amount of tunes that can run this per account? Not that I'm suggesting more, just curious. It is the max number of tunes you can have on an account. Not the max you can run with, the max you can have. If I try to create another character, it will say you have the maximum number of characters available for this account. I'll show you. When I get out of this tune, I'll show you what it says. Um, yeah, C uh, lim accounts are limited on how many, oh shit, how many tunes I can create. <laughs> Franken cake time. I'm sorry, explain. Close looks blind. I'm sorry, I had to. 
And we should call them mammalian glands. <laughs> Feeding kids in public, which I was totally comfortable with, was some of the most uncomfortable times in my life when people made comments. Oh, people can fuck off. Seriously. My child is hungry. I am going to feed them. Would you rather I abused my child and let them starve? Your call. Like. Not just male people. Oh, no, no, absolutely not. I know, yeah. Yeah. People who have grown up their entire lives in a patriarchal society and cannot understand that their own body parts are not something to be ashamed of, absolutely project that shame onto others, 100%. It's, it's not their fault that they've been raised in that way, that they, that they have that shame for their own body. That is something that has been forced upon them, but it is absolutely their fault for trying to apply that to somebody else. People who are victims can also be perpetrators. Fun facts. Uh, how was your birthday? It was awesome. It was really, really awesome. I had my first drama as an influencer. Um, no, it was, uh, no it, was, it was good. I slept uh, for most of the day um, and I ate a lot of crap, which probably contributed to the sleeping. Um, and yeah, no, it was just in the stream. And then stream. Yeah, it was just, it was nice. It was chill. It was good. Um, Excuse me. Uh, feel my, uh, thank you very much. Oh, you're very welcome, Lucky. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Am I good about myself in that case? Situation recently. Compliment a choice with her tattoos? Yes. Yeah. Um, that's, uh... Wh one of the things I've learned about tattoos is not to be like, Oh my god, I love your tattoos! What's the story behind them? Because sometimes it's like, you know, super personal or whatever. But, um, yeah, like, I love your art. Without touching. Like gesturing towards without touching and saying I love your art and like yeah. It's yeah, no, nah, tattoos are definitely something that I compliment on random strangers frequently. Uh well, back when I left the house. And in with any kind of regularity. <laughs> um, because yeah, like artwork like that is just so fucking beautiful. A lot of the time. Sometimes not so much, but a lot of the time it is just absolutely fucking gorgeous. Uh, right, so if I click create new character, oh, that's interesting. There you go. You already have the maximum number of characters allowed on this account. I knew it had stopped me somewhere. It's, a, it's surprising that it'll let you go through the entire customization and naming and everything before it smacks you down. And then you have to go back out of it and lose all that progress to delete a tune. That's not cool. That should not warn you there. That should warn you when you try to create the tune. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. <clears throat> Sadly, people would rather you were a bad mum than you used your body for its purpose. It's just so stupid, isn't it? Good lord. Uh, Frank and Cake, also known as a video titled Baking Wedding Kit with Every Possible... Oh, that's right! Yes, I remember that one. I thought you meant you were, like, actually having some cake that you had made that you had described as a Frank and Cake, and I wanted to know how you made it and, like, all that kind of... Yep. Or where you got it. Maybe got to eat. Exactly. Exactly. Harry Tim's going, yeah, not, so not too bad, Nab. Uh, we're 40 down, 10 to go. Thankfully, because I'm fucking tired, um, as everyone is aware, because <laughs> I won't shut up about it. Uh, I don't remember if to ask. Oh, uh, misogynistic bullshit on Facebook. It's fine. It was handled exceptionally quickly, um, and yeah, everything was fine. Um, ooh, drama, you say? No, so there was a person who posted on Facebook asking why I'm the only person on the launcher. Um, and that I'm on there like all the time and I've been there for ages like why does no one else get a chance kind of thing um, And so there as you would expect uh, there was a massive series of comments uh, Relating to me having slept with half of Blizzard or because I am a busty redhead Obviously these people have never watched my comment um, that particular person has never watched my content before because though I may be a redhead um, I am NOT what anyone would describe as busty uh and then, yeah, just a whole bunch of shit like that. 
Uh, so I replied. Uh, not to the not to the misogynistic shit. I completely ignored that, but I replied to the original person and explained. Uh, one person had claimed that I was sponsored, um, and that it was obvious. Uh, so I replied and said, you know, I've had a couple of sponsored streams, yes, but I am not in general sponsored. I uh, went through this whole thing about, you know, how I got to there and, and all that kind of stuff. The fact that I genuinely thought other people were on the launcher, not just me, which Blizzard has since confirmed, um, like directly to me in DMs. I have confirmation. Uh, and I also gave them... Uh, some ideas like, you know, this is how I did it. This is what I would recommend to you if you're aspiring to be a part of that. Um, and the person ended up coming by stream and apologized profusely for the misogynistic bullshit. And I said, it's not you. You didn't say or imply any of that. That's that, that's on them. That's not you. Um, and yeah, they ended up dropping a follow, even though my content is really not their kind of content, which is uh, very sweet of them. So yeah, no, it was it was all fine. It was just kind of like, oh, look. Uh, but you know what they say, um, there's, there's a, there's a saying that I read many years ago, um, that, you know, like in video games, in life, you know you're going in the right direction when you encounter enemies. They wouldn't have terrible opinions of me if I wasn't successful, because they wouldn't know who I was and they wouldn't give a shit. They wouldn't feel the need to comment on my looks or my gender. Uh, or anything, if they weren't feeling some kind of way about me. So yeah, I'm successful. Go me. Ugh, but yeah, look, it's a, uh, it's a thing. Hmm. <laughs> Let drama llamas lie. Leaving the house in this economy? I know, right? Like, what? I remember just then, wait, you have a male tune? No. No. Uh, all my tunes are female. Um, I told Dad! <gasps> oh my god, you guys. You guys. So I spoke to Dad for my birthday, not on my birthday, because he called me and then immediately hung up and then texted me and said, tell me when you finish streaming, because he realized what time it was. Um, I, but I called Dad. I spoke to him and... Um, I told him about his his and, and mum's characters. I said, you remember how you had those characters? And he was like, which which characters? I'm like, you remember you had a glass of passion fruit cider that you spiked with three shots of vodka and then got plastered and we played WoW on stream. And he was like, oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> this was immediately after him having mild heat stroke, just by the way. Um, so he was leveling a druid, a walking druid called Earl Grey. And um, I said I, I, you know, took screenshots of them and I recreated the characters on the appropriate server because I couldn't afford to server transfer them. And I told him, I said, you know, mum's character had a bit of a hairstyle change or a horn style change or something because I couldn't find the right ones that looked quite right. Uh, and dad's one uh, is now female. When he created the tune, it was a male tune. Uh, it is now a female tune. And he yelled at me. He said, you can't do that. I said, why? He's gone, because he's Earl Grey, because he's an Earl, and his fur was grey, but it's also tea. You, he, can't, he can't be an Earl if he's a girl. What's, what's the feminine form of Earl? And I said, there isn't one. He's like, yes, because women didn't have power back then. But anyway, um, <laughs> so uh, he, got, he got quite angry with me because I... I changed his character's gender um, because now the joke doesn't work as well. Uh, so I thought that was brilliant. <laughs> I didn't know he intended it that way. He was very drunk at the time and couldn't get across why he, all he could say was Earl Grey. <laughs> so I just thought it was because of the tea. Uh, but apparently it was because he was also an Earl. I was like, good job, dad. Well done. Um, but yeah, so that was, that was fun. Um, Family, hello, Krazy. How are you going? Welcome back. Uh, what is the happy haps tonight? No mount yet. But, 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 hang on, let me. I have, I have heartbreaker nails to try to tempt Iron Jesus out of his hole. I am on both hands, but like trying to block my face so it like focuses properly. But yeah, so that's cool. Oh, excuse me. I guess it's so you can play with the character customization before deleting a tune to do so. Yeah, but then it wipes all your progress. I just feel like that sucks. I don't know. I don't know. 
Uh, I'd never hard to tell one of my acquaintances that his tattoo was the absolute worst shit I've ever seen and on their forearm, no less, out in the open. Everything about it is off and the quality is horrendous. Oh, Jay, that sucks. I haven't, I don't know what I would do in that situation, hey? Like, good lord. Good lord. Good, busy as hell with work. Yep, training and comp. Trying to get back into the pod with a busted PC. Oh, no! <gasps> Why is your PC busted? What did you do? you do? I've been tempted a few times to recreate the cake in the video. Oh, fucking oath, right, Nutty? Right? Because I'd not seen one tonight in case you need it. Add a text command. Huh? Oh, so I thought that was supposed to be chair stream. Good. I will refund that for you. One moment, please. Uh, I need to refresh the page, apparently. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm glad I got sorted. Oh, big piles of fuck off. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Why am I not- Oh, Jas must have already refunded it. You go, there you go, Jas refunded, fantastic. I keep forgetting that you guys can do that for me. It's real nice, thank you. Um, <laughs> Jas, thank you, Thor. Thank you, if I don't use it, I'll refund it to you after. Uh, tell me the discussion the other day was quite timely then, yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah, there's been a few, uh, kind of fun things happen lately about that, hey. Things right on my phone. Oh, yeah, phone things are, uh, oh. grateful. Oh. Aw, Jay. Thank you so much. So generous of you. Oh, you don't need to apologize. Good lord. So, so sorry I missed your birthday. Sorry someone tainted it with their bullshit opinions. No, it's, it's 100% okay. On both counts, honestly. Like, no, because on, so what came out, so what came out of it was that as soon as the people, because I was notified about the post, like, within half an hour of it going up, right? Um, and, and I, so I saw all the stuff, but within another 10 or so minutes after that, the mods had deleted the whole, not the whole post, but anything that was even close to being insulting had been removed very very quickly like I'm, I'm pretty sure as soon as the mods were made aware of it they leapt into action so i'm really glad to know that i'm in a facebook group like that where they do take their rules seriously uh and they do actually delete shit uh, i don't know if they got banned i haven't really checked but all that kind of do you know what i mean like that's a good thing um secondly i got to have a conversation with someone who may have had may possibly have had a slightly sour opinion of me because of seeing my face on the launcher all the time, especially because it was, you know, halfway through Love is, uh, Love is in the Air and I've been on the launcher every fucking day. I get it. You know, if you're someone who is trying to grow and you're you're going through it and you're seeing this person getting this exposure from the company, I, I can totally understand where that would be coming from. But I got to have a conversation with that person and gave them advice on how I, like, how I got to where I am and how they can grow their own presence, like not just through aiming for the launcher, but like through social media stuff and all that kind of, so we had a really great conversation about that kind of stuff. Um, and all in all, I think it ended really, really well. Um, so yeah, no, I, I'm not, I don't think it was tainted at all. In fact, I'm absolutely taking it as a sign that I'm going in the right direction because I wouldn't be getting Shit, like people, if, if I if I didn't matter, they wouldn't care. They would have just ignored the post, right? But I matter enough to them that they took time to formulate an insult and post it publicly under their own names. That's how much I matter to them. To me, that's a pretty good sign. Even people who don't enjoy my content know who I am. And that's huge. That's fucking huge. I mean, we, we spoke about the other day. Mum's fucking hairdresser has another client who knows who I am without prompting. Like, <laughs> without it ever meeting mum. This per like, you know, mum's hairdresser finds out, you know, oh, one of my clients, you know, sitting in the chair, talks about how they play World of Warcraft with their husband, and the, the hairdresser goes, oh, yeah, another one of my clients. Like, do you, do you know, do you know Fiamma? Oh, yeah. What? 
<laughs> what? Like, that's fucking batshit. That is fucking batshit. So yeah, it's um No, I'm I'm absolutely taking it as confirmation that I'm in I'm in the right place, doing the right thing, heading in the right direction. Cause you know you're going the right direction when you encounter enemies. That's it. That's it. And the person who posted, absolutely not an enemy. I'm talking about the misogynistic fuckwits, to be clear. Uh, there were a couple of people on there, uh, a couple of people who very specifically said, like, her content is not my kind of content at all. I do not enjoy it. But you guys are idiots. Like, you guys really suck. Like, you <laughs> for, for making it, you know what I mean? So, yeah, no, it's, um, yeah, nah, definitely not uh, tainted. Promise you that much. Um... Uh, it was maybe yesterday. Yeah, yesterday was uh, it was a time. It was a time. Uh, controversy social media attracts idiocy better than chum does sharks, especially on Facebook. I just I find it hilarious that of all places it was in a goddamn Facebook group. Um, I doubt if I are you're a female now. Yep, <laughs> your character is it's got the same stupid Halo ad four times in a row. Oh no, scale. Oh my god, I don't know why that like. That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, if anything, that's going to discourage you from checking out Halo, if they're going to annoy you. Do you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I have it set up so it's a 90 second chunk of ads every half hour to keep pre-rolls turned off, right? That's that's how I have it set up. But it's up to Twitch what plays. It's Twitch's call what actually plays. But, like, playing the same ad four times in a row, that's not effective advertising. If That's off-putting. I don't know. I'd blacklist shit if they advertise that much to me, good lord. Ah, uh, very true about the encountering enemies. I knew I was doing the smart thing when a professor who despised me started getting vocal about my work not being of quality. Fortunately, thanks to his previous commentary, I had three different reputable sources to scrutinize my work. Who took offense to his questioning of their opinions? Amazing, Lucky. I, I, I don't understand why people feel the need to tear down other successful people. Like, I mean, I understand that there are absolutely some situations where it is a competition, and if they get it, you actually cannot get it. But, I don't know. But being, like, threatened by one of your students, that's got to be the most embarrassing thing. From their perspective. Like, good lord. You've been in the industry for how many years that you've become an actual fucking professor, right? And yet you feel threatened by this this young upstart who's been doing it for a year and a half. I'm not saying that you have been, but do you, you know, um, I'm sure it's probably four or five years given that you're submitting papers and stuff like that. But do you know what I mean? Like it's, yeah, it's really fucking funny. Um, Jinxing is free now in the barbershop. Anyway, it is, but the character was also on a wrong server. Uh, so I would have had to pay for the server transfer, which is what I couldn't afford. But that's okay. It is what it is. Female Earl is a dame, so it'd be Dame Grey. See, we googled this, and there is no... The, the, um... The, the wife of an Earl is a countess. Pretty sure a dame is a... Gr like, I know Earl is a granted title, but, like... But, yeah, so the wife of an Earl is the countess. We've got, like, at the moment we have the Earl of Wessex, and he's married to the Countess of Wessex, right? Um... But if you're actually the one with the power and not just married to the Earl, yeah, it'd be interesting. Patriarchal society. Woo! <laughs> Historic shit that just, there was no purpose for having a female title of that kind because it just wasn't something that female people could hold on to. So it's interesting. How far we have come. How far we still have to go, sure, but at the same time, how far we have come. Mm, lost pound my second and third monitor. New cables aren't working. Doing anything with one screen is nearly 20 years behind you. Oh, Jesus. Lost power to the monitors. New cables aren't working. But the, the cable that works with screen one works with two and three, but, the, but other cables don't. Or so, like... I'm guessing it's the screens that are the issue, not the uh, not the cables, is what you're trying to get at. Which kind of sucks. At least it's not a graphics card. 
Uh, I admit the first few times I saw someone without a breast to feed a baby, I was a little taken aback. It was a new experience to me since then. I'm completely fine. Yeah, of course. Even if I wasn't fine with it, it's my problem, not the mum's. Yeah, it's, um, like, there's, uh, like, societal training and stuff, you know? We're still often raised to think of boobs as sex things. And, you know, they're, they're sex toys, but they're not. They're a source of food, first and foremost. Uh, and it does, it absolutely does take time and effort to change that internal education. But the fact that you did is what's, that's what's important. You're allowed to be taken aback. You're allowed to kind of go, oh shit, and then like not look or whatever makes you comfortable, right? You're absolutely allowed to do that. What you're not allowed to do is shame the person who's just trying to feed their child. Uh, and you didn't. And that's what's, you know, that's what's important. Yeah. Um, if ever there was a sound, come on, that was it. I don't know what that was because I'm 10 minutes behind, but oh no. And uh, to create a state of intoxication, develop a backstory for Earl Grey. <laughs> He doesn't need to be drunk to do that. Uh, I'm sure he could do it anyway. <laughs> well done, Jazz. Uh, I'm trying to watch and hang out. Also, Captain Team heading across the over. I'm trying to think Avengers Justice League superhero team names to call our team so we can dress up beforehand. CrossFit Open. You gotta, like... I My, my brain wants to work the cross... In there's fit, not so much because fit, whatever. Um, but like the cross part of that, you could go some kind of faux religious kind, you know what I mean? Like, talk to Jas about some of the goddamn, um, what are they called, Jas? The, the armies, the religious armies you can hire in CK3. There are some really interesting names that they have had, and I'm sure one of them will have cross in there somewhere. Um, and you can warp it a little to be more like comic based rather than like you know ancient religion based but still that's fun that sounds like a lot of fun though guys don't look at Shiba's five monitor setup I know right uh, discord bloody impressive uh, I am jealous lol I got so heated uh, the Birkins issue dress up is the state be a hero oh lord you dress up as any Aussie lager, though, as a brewer, that would be disrespectful to myself. You can be the you can be the international import, Kras. Captain Captain Homebrew. <laughs> Not a text one I think of better than your already existing Fialadin. Look, look at me. I'm the captain now. Yeah, basically. Oh, I'm standing in shit. Okay, good. Good. Baby. The fact is crazy. I know, right? Like, it just. Mum was like, You're famous. I'm like, N No, it's just a really small world. And she's like, No. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a trippy. It's a trippy thought, that's for sure. Let's take the email you made it with sweet detractors. <laughs> the headspace to you, go girl. Look, it's taken years of work to get to this headspace. Not gonna fuck around with that. Like,. This is not something that I could have just slipped into super easy, like a comfy pair of step ones. Uh, <laughs> fuck, that was disgusting. I'm so sorry. Um, but no, it's it has taken years of work with professionals to to get my headspace to where it's at. But I'm pretty happy with it. NGL. Um, a random misogynist asked insult ins asked insult sphere. Oh my god, people are noticing me. Yeah, look. Look, uh, she absolutely does play the same ad over and over there who prompted me to even start using ad blockers. Yeah, it's funny because if you use an ad blocker, it can block the website from recognizing that you have a sub and then play you ads. Coding is fun. People feeling threatened by other people's success is a sign of weakness. It is of theirs, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But weakness is something that can be worked through. Um, sometimes people need help to, to work through that weakness and sometimes they don't, um, but they have to choose to do it. They can't, like, it won't just happen magically. They can't be told to. They have to choose themselves to, to work through that weakness and to kick it to the curb. Um, I'm thinking Sir and Dame. Ah, uh, possibly, possibly. Um, isn't an Earl like a Viking title? No. No, we have current, uh, today Earls as well. Uh, yes, that's a Jarl, which is the same thing. But the the Viking version, yes. Thank you, Draz. 
Ah, uh, Dramatic Title in general, same origin, and it is a Nordic Yarl. Yes, Yarl. It's fun to say. I uh, get a big thing he was protesting was my acceptance into a master's program, which was hilarious because he was essentially admitting he either gave me good gades because I'm a woman and took pity, or he was harsher on me because of my gender and I still maintained a distinction average in my bachelor's degree. Fucking hell lucky. Look, go you! Smash that I'm shit. Sunwell. Destroy the joint, or whatever they call it. Ah! Amazing! Scale, thank you so much for your prime sub. Welcome to the Fianati. Much appreciated. All right, you're completely right. Crusaders, Templars, Holy Order. Yeah, but something with the cross part, because you got to reference it back to cross fit. Come on, guys. Let's see, cross cross fit mentioned to the ring fit arrived. How much does it hurt? No, it hasn't even been ordered yet. Issues. Um, what attempt number? Good question. One moment, please. Uh, this is 1347. This is 1347. Um, I don't know if you Step one. Ah, uh, the whole word, dupe. Sorry, the whole word. Step one. Uh, level 30, well done. Oh, I'm the tank. Hello, brilliant. It was about below the level of product placement. I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. <laughs> I am, I, I do not know how to feel with that kind of stuff. Like, I know I should be, but at the same time, because like, you know, it's got to make money. Uh, but it also just feels kind of gross asking you guys or telling you to spend money on something. It just doesn't feel right. So, yeah, you're going to have to put up with me making an attempt to be shameless and then being full of shame. Um, but hey, might make for some good clips. Um, uh, so that was 1347. We have three to go. Uh, there we go. Yes, step one. Uh, keep in mind that is not an affiliate link or an affiliate code. I make no money. I have been paid in underpants. Uh, but they are the most comfortable underpants I have ever worn. If you want to help support me through that campaign, um, interact with the social media posts. Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, that's where they're going up. Uh, there's one that's gone up already. There's another one that's going up shortly. Maybe a week Maybe this weekend? I don't know. It's going up soon. Uh, and then another one a couple weeks after that. And then another one a couple weeks after that. Uh, and they'll go up on all the platforms at the same time. So if you see it on one, check the others. But yeah, engagement rate is going to be a big thing. Um, like I am, I actually, as part of my contract, I am reporting social stats. I'm reporting uh, the number of views it got, like my reach, uh, my engagement. Uh, like comments, likes, all that, uh, shares, big one on, like, big emphasis on shares, all that kind of stuff. All of that is going back to GGWP and to step one. Uh, and if I am successful enough, like, if if they like what I did, like, if they like the content I've created and I and it, it performs well on socials, who fucking knows? Maybe they'll pay me for the next round. That's just how, if they like working with somebody, they'll want to work with them again, especially if it's cost effective. Maybe they'll send me more underpants, or maybe they'll be like, you've already got the underpants, make more content with them, and we'll pay you for it in cash that you can use to pay your rent and your dental bills. <laughs> so yes, that's how to support the fear. And any other, like any other content creators that you follow as well, keep in mind all these support tips that I always tell you guys about on how to help me, that works for any other creator as well. All of them. Absolutely. Uh, right. Uh, cross force instead of X force. There you go. Uh, I just realized we have Prime. Maybe my husband can sub for free. We won't watch but dollars. Indeed. Indeed. Dollar, dollar, dollar. Uh, I don't know where you are from. You can be a target segment. Low pool of ads associated. Yeah, Twitch doesn't go very much detail about how many ads is optimal about the number of ads shown for conversion spam said person with ads because advertisers pay by impression. They do. They do. And it's so silly because sometimes we get pay people who don't get any ads because they've run out of ads for that country kind of thing. But then we get people who have the same ad three or four times in a row in one ad block. It's just so strange. I don't know how their algorithm is working. Clearly it isn't. Like, it's just not working. Uh, it's very strange. Very strange. Um, it's on the right path for non-nerdy CrossFit friends will get it. Unspect talent, indeed. Indeed, it doesn't matter, it works. It works just fine. They die. 
That's all that matters. Underpants, I say. Step one, baby. Step one. They have men's and women's ranges. Um, I'm wearing the pale pink ones today. I'll show you the waistband in just a second. Uh, and they're, they're the most comfortable underpants I've ever worn. Ever. They have, uh, the, they have the panel. They're made of bamboo, firstly. Amazing. Um, but they've got in the, like, inside the thighs, it's made of, like, a really slippy, silky fabric instead, so you don't get chub rub, so that you, your thighs just glide past each other. Very comfortable, no catching, no nothing like that. Um, and the, for the men's ranges, they make ones with shorter legs or longer legs, and they make ones with or without your, uh, accessibility option. Like, the, the access in the front. I don't know what you call them because I don't have them. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean though, like the, the, the whole, yeah, good. Uh, with or without. And of course, no matter your gender identity, you can wear any of their products because it's whatever the fuck makes you comfortable. That is the whole point is that they are comfy undies. That would be just atrocious if that was the drop and that was the clip. Anyway, uh, Knights of the Cross with the red star. Well, that's intimidating. I like it. Sounds like a comic crusader aura. Oh, what a good lord. Yeah, did you get something from the Prime sub? Yeah, I get paid. It works the same as a tier one sub. I get paid. <laughs> I get paid this, I think I get paid the same amount as a tier one. Give me a second. Let me just take a squiz and get like an appropriate. Because I do remember Cricket saying that, t that primes were even more valuable than a tier one sub. And I don't know if that's right. But I can find out. <clears throat> Okie dokie. So, I have... That much. Divided by that many. And then... Oh, it doesn't tell me how many Prime subs. Right, okay, that's a... I can see how much I get roughly from each individual tier 1 sub, but I can't see how much I get from Prime subs. The idea is, you, you pay the money, they take out transaction fees, they take out potential currency conversion fees, and all that kind of fun stuff, and then what's left is split 50-50, Twitch and streamer. Good. So with the Prime sub, I guess there's the idea that because you've already paid for the Prime, there isn't those like bank transaction fees and stuff like that, so the streamer might get a little bit more out of it, but it wouldn't be my much. It wouldn't be my much. But yeah, they're, they're basically the equivalent. In terms of what you get access to, it's equivalent to a tier one sub. So I would assume it's roughly equivalent in terms of earnings to a tier one sub. You do also need to manually reuse it each month though. It doesn't just automatically tick over. Mm, content with underpants, yep. Oh, I forgot to show you the waistband. There's my step ones. <laughs> They're so comfy. So ridiculously comfy. Hmm. Right, strange half here doesn't gather herbs or waiting for Q spot. I'm too busy talking. As much as I'd love to say that I'm a fantastic multitasker, when it comes to actually doing multiple tasks at the same second, I'm terrible at it. If I was gathering herbs, I probably would keep forgetting my line of thought and all that kind of stuff. And I feel like engaging with chat is more important than collecting herbs. Uh, but valid, can, like valid wonder, <laughs> valid question. Um, at least I've ever heard me ask, etc. I'm big on social, I really should follow them socials. You should, Jay. You absolutely should. Step one, underpants. Step two, question. Step three, the step two is post to Instagram and keep blabbing on about them and annoy everyone until everyone buys them. Step three, profit. <laughs> how, how, to, how to influence. Be annoying. Um. <laughs> Finati confirmed to be underpants gnomes. I'm not opposed to this. 
I have stepped one half years. They're good. They're amazing, aren't they? They're so good. Either you just want to keep up with chat. I want to pick the flowers. Keep running around and cute. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's a f oh, they, it's called a fly. Interesting, because I always, you know, I associate the fly with like on jeans with a zipper and stuff. Because there's no zippers on your underpants. You don't want zippers on your underpants. But um, it's still called a fly. Okay, cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. I do not use underpants with holes unless they are holes that have been over time developed because I can't afford to replace my underpants. So, <laughs> so I appreciate the information. Uh, lots of comments online saying it's the same. Reading 60, 50 to 60 in a day. Well done, Yori. Go you. Look at you go. Oh, I'm gonna let that through and then catch up. Wonder what I said that was against the law. Um, lots. There was a lot of highlighted stuff in there. Um, half year free Amazon Prime. Hey, you're gonna spin it around to different streamers I watch. I love that scale. That's so generous of you. That's such a great idea. And that's why it doesn't auto renew. It's so that each month you can make a decision on how you want to use it rather than it taking it away from you for another 30 days, you know? Um, even though it's not more money, it's the fact that out of all the streamers out there, they choose you with it. At least it's how other streamers express what they value it higher. Ah, okay. Interesting. Someone said that recently. It's a fly having big legs, both from chunk and muscle. It absolutely a horrid experience with bad underwear that glides when walking. Uh, some inner thighs rub against each other. It can make it quite painful to walk, even moderate distances. Yeah, I had, um, like, when I wear, uh, when I worked in a, uh, like, an office and stuff, and I'd wear stockings a lot um, underneath my pencil skirts and things like that. Um, when you have... When, it, when it's a hot day especially and it's kind of sticky and you have stockings that have stretched and it's almost like if you've got your skin pressing through it, it's almost like a, like, think about like a, not a grate, but like, it's netting, right? It's a mesh. So if you have like a mesh thing that you drain stuff with, like you drain pasta and things with, imagine pressing your, and then rubbing that against, it, it feels like you're grating your thighs together. I have literally taken off stockings before and had between my thighs patches of skin missing in the pattern of whatever stockings I was wearing because of my thighs rubbing together in the heat and just take and rubbing until the skin disappeared, disintegrated, burned off, whatever. It's so bad. So having stuff, having those actual glide panels there that keep the skin moving while having fabric over it so there's no actual like rubbing against each other, it's really just, oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. Easy access part in underpants. Can you use a cue popping? He gets mine. Oh, I'm so sorry, Red. I'm so sorry. The first is about the completed quest not getting delivered. The NPC 10 yards further. You look. You look. Uh, have you seen the new underpant company trying to replicate step one around the ads? are just bad. They're memorable enough. I don't remember the company's name. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, it's like Bubble Tea Club. Uh, when, when Bubble Tea Club really took off, there are now like seven or eight other home DIY bubble tea kit companies in Australia. Yep. I don't think that's the easy access. Um, no, one of the ads had rugby players talking about them. Oh no. Oh dear. Look, you don't need you don't need celebrities to talk about them if they work. Like. <laughs> Customers will talk about it enough themselves if it's a good product. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. All right. Um. Uh, what are we doing? Sending some love. I'm done, by the way. 1350. All 50 characters are finished. Bang on the three hour mark. But fear you're a celebrity. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not even like. I'm not even like. A, if I if I was a celebrity, I would be like a Z-list celebrity. Not even a D. Like just all the way at the end of the fucking alphabet. I'm so excited to try this out, you guys. It's fully charged. It's fully charged. Oh, you can change the directions. A 
Okay, I'm gonna read the destructions before I try using this because there's a lot of options on there. Good. Uh, beep. Yeah, correct. That was it. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. And my, I, I couldn't hear it that loudly because I have my headset on. I can't imagine what it sounded like to you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, uh, what are we gonna do? I reckon. Yeah. For the alliance. Good. Agreed. It's gonna drop an alliance paladin, isn't it? Who's world famous in Aussie WoW Twitch? That's that's adorable. I'm, I'm, not I'm so sorry. How big a drop yet? Not yet. Not yet. Tomorrow we'll drop on Horde Priest. Okay, okay. Thank you for the biddies, guys. Oh, you're too sweet. You're too sweet. All right, that's what we're doing. This is where we're going. Grab your copy paste if you're not a f uh, subscriber. Excuse me. I'm not a paladin. Uh... Jesus fucking Christ. If you don't have the Fiamma Hype emote, either because you're not a sub or because you haven't unlocked it with your channel points, it's totally fine. You can still copy and paste it into Loz's chat, replace the Fiamma Hype with your favorite Happy Hypey Celebratory emote, and uh, hit enter when we get there to send Loz some love. Um, what day is it? Shit. Okay, Friday, midday stream, noon. Uh, Saturday, 6 p.m. Sunday, Heartbreaker and Transmog, regular time, 4 p.m. Monday, 4 p.m. start, Heartbreaker, then Mount Farm, then the second round of Heartbreaker Farm at 1 a.m. I'm going to be streaming till 4. That's a 12-hour stream crossing over the 21st to the 22nd. I hate myself. Please be there. Please support me mor uh, the, the morally. Moral support. There we go. That's the word. Uh, it's going to suck. It's going to suck. And then I do payroll that day. Work. Good. <sighs> um, yes. The 23rd is not squirt day. The 23rd is 9.2 launch day. We are playing launch day. Uh, and then, yes, that's a week. Good. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I will see you tomorrow. Twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma forward slash schedule. With love. Mwah. Bye.